Good morning, America. And the rest of the globe. Today's irregular show is brought to you by G Fuel. Except it's not. But it could be. Rash, you can't just be out here lying to the Smash fam like that. We are officially sponsored by G Fuel. But we're not. But we could be. And if we were, I bet we could afford a proper table mic. You're right, that's got to be an OSHA violation. So is drinking anything other than G Fuel. Oh, oops. <laughs> Already. <laughs> Stupid. Perfect. Good morning! Good morning, good morning, good morning! Hello, hello, hello! What's up, you guys? Hi! Oh, <laughs> We're live! We are in our new space! We are! We're in the new space! Isn't that insane? Can everybody hear... Can everybody hear us? Hopefully everybody can hear I us. I think it's okay. <laughs> So, Morse code, if not. Yeah, this is so. Send help. This is so different and like unique, right? Uh, it's just very different. And yes, yes, okay, cool, cool good deal, awesome. good deal. It's just so different. It's so unique. Um, you know, so like we're uh, uh, there. This is our very first stream. There might be some difficulties, some there, technical difficulties, right? There will be. So uh, yeah, so it's fine. It's, it's <laughs> fine. But we've been working on this space for a long time. About three weeks. About three yeah. weeks, right? And um, you know, we just got our brand new lighting in, and you know, it's it's a lot of it's a it's a lot of fun. So yeah, having an absolute blast. Yeah, it's looking good. It, we're getting there. It's still gonna be you know, working work in progress, but we're working on it. And it's and it's it's gonna get better. That's the great news is that like what you see right now is like foundation. Like yeah. it's going to get better. So it's gonna be really cool. So. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, man. So we've got a lot planned for you guys, but but before we get to any of that. It's time for a formal introduction. Like, we had to fire it off, make sure everything was yeah. working right, <laughs> hear from you guys, make sure that you guys could yeah. hear us. You guys are our beta testers, it's okay? So. What's up, beta? And I don't mean that rude. That's so rude whenever I say, what's up, beta, guys? What's up, beta? <laughs> oh, is that? It's like a rude thing. Like, you're in beta. You're not alpha yet. You yeah. Know? Like, I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that, but. <laughs> well, alpha's the worst. Oh, alpha's the worst. Then. Yeah. Yeah. You guys are in beta. Hey, we're in beta all the we're time. We're in beta all the time. <laughs> uh, we're always reinventing and reintegrating. I am no beta, Rebel says. <laughs> I am no beta. I messed that up. This is what happens oh, when we go off script. No. Every time. Every, Every time. time. Every Never fails. Time. Oh my goodness. Yeah, we're uh we are definitely um definitely gonna have to like get used to it, but we've got an actual legit intro that we planned for you guys. Yeah. Works really hard on this. One thing I need to say. There's going to be some sponsors of the show. Ooh. All right. Coming up in the future and. We've got, we've got sponsors that are partnering with us for the show. So as we get like more comfortable and, you know, like Twitch is a very different like feel. It is very than different. All, than, than YouTube. Yeah. And then we got Kick Now and TikTok, and it's just kind of crazy. Well, maybe TikTok. I don't know. It's maybe. probably going to get banned. But we're going to talk about that. But <laughs> uh, <laughs> but um, but w there's going to be some sponsors, and we have one coming up. Well, it's coming lined up. up. We are lined up. Next week starts hopefully weekly sponsored shows. If not, you could at least expect like one or two a month. Yeah. Uh, we'll have some sponsored irregular exactly. shows. Exactly. So we'll be showcasing those products, we'll be wearing those products, we'll be using those products and showing you guys what they can do uh, for you, for our community. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's going to be good. But before we get to all of that, we need like a little marker. Yes, a marker. We do need a marker. <laughs> We're going to start with our official, now that the beta test is over, our official start to the regular show. What's up? 
Irregular people, it's your boy, Rash the Smash. And this is a very exciting time for us. And I'm here with the one and only KJ uh, for one of the wildest and craziest regular show moments yet. This is the most unpredictable comedy hour on the planet. On the planet! Ever to be released. <laughs> Maybe. That's right! It's right, Rash. We... We're here to bring you the the funniest of the unfunny, the the most chaotic of the unchaotic, the, the oh, silliest yes. of the. Well, you 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 get it. I mean, I get, I'll, I get I'll the go point. Further, I yeah. get the point. So buckle up, ladies and gentlemen, because the ride is just getting started. This is season one, episode one of the Irregular Show. Yay! Let's it's here. go! It is finally here. Yes. And oh first my goodness. up, we're gonna taste test some G fuel. We are gonna do that. Oh, it's going to be awesome. We're going to see if this can give us the energy to uh, ride this chaotic wave that we're on right now <laughs> for the regular <laughs> show. Uh, we've never tried this G Fuel before. We've this is going to be brand new, right? Brand um, we're new. also We're also going to be uh, playing Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader, which I have traditionally failed at that game. I don't think I made it past the fourth grade. I mean, you only got like two questions right out of 10 yeah. for fifth grade. So I think that that puts you back in the fourth grade. Oh, crap. Uh, <laughs> so I flunked the fifth grade. I'm back to the fourth grade. So we're going to be playing. Yeah, we're going to be playing. Are you smarter than a fifth grader today? After that, we're going to slow things down with Ooh. poetry for Neanderthals. And it's not really going to be that slow because it's going to be kind of crazy for all you cavemen out there with um, uh, a little less than um, articulate vocabulary. I think Ooh. that you fall into that category, actually, right? Wow. I do fall into that category. <laughs> and finally, we're going to be wrapping things up with a game called Illusion Confusion. I like that. I like that little dance move. That's kind of nice. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Uh, and I'm not I'm not going to give you uh, I'm not going to give too much away, but let's just say that things are going to get pretty crazy during that game. All right. Yeah. So. Uh, it's going to get a little weird during that game. Wait, weird? Is that the right word? Weird. It's going to get trippy. It's going to get trippy. Maybe yeah. not weird, but trippy. <laughs> it won't get weird. Things never get weird on the irregular show. They Are you kidding me? A little irregular. Yeah. Just a little irregular. Like my bowels. All right, moving on. <laughs> so sit back, relax, and get ready to have your mind blown by the one and only episode one uh, of The Irregular, irregular Show. show. Let's Rush. go. With Rash. With KJ. With Rash. With both of us and you guys. Thank you, you guys so much for hanging with us today, man. Uh, this is uh, this is seriously a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, it's again, it's it feels so weird being on a new platform. Everything looks different. The chat looks different. Uh, everything's just there's no bot to help with said chat. I'm having uh, uh, I'm having a hard time getting the bot connected. Um, We're and I don't know why. We're working on it. Well, look, on. Nightbot is deleting messages. What? Why? <laughs> Alex, what do you do to Nightbot? <laughs> Why there is, is a bot. Nightbot? Okay, so Nightbot is very angry. I'm going to have to fix that. Always a diva, Nightbot. Always. Always a diva. Always a diva. Goodness gracious. I'm actually going to ban Nightbot. You um, should. Yeah, right? But guys, can you believe that that entire intro was actually crafted not by us? We actually didn't work that hard on it. No. We didn't even memorize it because... It was actually written by ChatGPT. Have you guys have you guys played around with ChatGPT? It's pretty fun. Dude, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty fun. There, th this whole AI world is crazy Weird. to me. I'm very. I just have no. I don't know. The AI world just seems insane, and I don't really understand it. Except that now there are 16 year olds using somehow chat gpt to make three hundred thousand dollars in nine months or eight months it's insane how is this a thing i am missing the boat okay I'm, so listen somehow the we've got a way out there we've got to rise up together and we've got to figure out how we too can make a lot of money <laughs> using chat gpt it's, listen i mean it's only been out for like a couple months and yeah. i remember using it even like six weeks ago in beta and it's still kind of you know developing always exactly as anything is with technology and um i'm pretty stunned by it using it in dnd rebel that is a genius way like right we have to figure out we can't be we can't 
we can't lean into our age and our generation and go, yeah. eh, that, this is going to ruin the, the internet. This is going to ruin uh, kids' creativity yeah. and their um and their their minds developing. This is going to ruin essays and stuff. And actually, just like lean into it and see how we can innovate the world today. Oh yeah, with I, the resources that are out there. It's crazy to me. And uh, and so like there's some the technology that's out there is is just really nutty. Um, I love the idea of using it for D and D. How, like, what, what could an application for that be? You know, the very first time I tried Chat GPT, I did it for D and D, and I asked my husband, oh. who is great at, he's an amazing storyteller. He's a DM um, for several campaigns, and we were wrapping up our campaign, and mm-hmm. I was like, "Hey, I'm gonna write out like just a general basic uh, thought of what the beginning of our campaign looked like." And so I gave it like some words and I asked my husband to like fill in the keywords yeah. for it. And literally all you're, all you're doing is um, giving a basic kind of summary of what you want it to write about, how long you want it oh. to be, and then saying, uh, use keywords like these, uh, create a plot like this, and then let it fly. Ask questions before beginning. That is another key that's new to chat GPT is that like if you ask it to ask questions, it'll narrow down Which- the niche. Blows my mind that you can go in there. I have okay, guys. I get lonely throughout the day, and I'll just log. Weird. I'll just log into Chat GPT and ask questions and talk to Chat GPT, and it responds. It's amazing. I think you need like a Baymax in your life. Like, <laughs> have you seen Big Hero Six? I love Baymax. <laughs> I, that's what I. That's honestly that's what i think I'm Jet, chat gpt is <laughs> i'm here to help <laughs> <laughs> i'm here to help you you need a hug and it, you know and then i end up hugging myself because chat gpt doesn't offer hugs yet but if it did it would be really cool dude hairy baby <laughs> <laughs> what the heck uh, Harry baby oh man listen you guys know how the regular show works this is every friday 11 o'clock a.m central time and uh there's going to be lots of different things now um kj i didn't tell you about this but i signed up for a uh a service that connects you with people who are looking for podcasts oh this and is news to me. Yeah. Hello. There, Welcome to the Irregular Show, where KJ gets filled in on the Irregular Show about yeah. the Irregular Show. I have scheduled. Cool. I have scheduled a podcast for next week with a what contortionist, and we're gonna actually do contortionist. I'm just kidding. I didn't do any of that. <laughs> The look on her face. She's like, what? I would have believed it because oh my of gosh. how freaking weird you are. I know. No, but uh, but but listen, there could be, we would love to, like, there's going to be a pod coast, pod coasting, a pod coasting <laughs> section. There's going to be a podcasting <laughs> section. <laughs> I can't talk. Help him. What's new? Help there's going to be a podcasting section that we can, uh, that we could utilize, which I think is going to be really amazing. Um, so I'm excited about that. Um, and, uh, and so like, there's going to be elements of that, but you guys know how we're going to sprinkle things in. We're going to sprinkle some things in, you know what I mean? All over the place. Um, but yeah, we're going to get back to those like IRL games, more taste testing, more fun, crazy food stuff, antics and things like that. So this is like an industrial basement. (laughs) I mean, it really is my basement. It's just a basement. it's just a basement, but it's like super cool. We've got a concrete floor. We can dump slime on each other. Maybe not, but you know, you could throw a pie in my face. I could do that. Hands could like, you know, hit me with a baseball bat and I could bleed and it would be okay. We, the, the sky is the limit here, okay? Really, it is the limit. Like we could do anything. It's gonna be amazing. It's, it's gonna there, be, there's not gonna be any- into it. Right. No, no G, no G fuel dry scooping though. That cannot happen That's not again. Happening. That was terrible. No, dry scooping G fuel I mean, was I, literally the worst. I didn't do it. I, but there's a reason. I, I was didn't do not it. a fan. Where did my G fuel go? I don't know. Where did your G fuel go? You had a G fuel cup. Anyways, it's I've got rock. my Horizon Union shaker. Super great. I love it. It's yeah. amazing. It's gonna be awesome. But. Yeah, we we got a few things lined up today, so we'll jump into those. Um, but first, we have announcements. We have a few announcements because this week has been like it's been a whirlwind, 
full. Yeah. We barely made this. Okay, we barely showed up here today. I was up past 1 a.m. figuring this out. Yeah. <laughs> because we get affiliated on Kick. Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Let's go. And uh, with that came a lot of I think we're almost to 50 subs on Kick. That's insane. Right now, I think we're at 46. And when you do get 50. We're giving away some G Fuel, baby. We're going to give away a G Fuel uh, collector's pack. Uh, so we're going to be doing a, a, a giveaway at 50 subs. We only need a few more. Um, and so we're going to be doing those kick streams in the evening time. Uh, so the stream schedule is going to look kind of crazy right now. All right. So Mondays definitely still going to be streaming Mondays mm -hmm. uh, in the in the later morning, kind of that 10 a.m. time frame. And then we're going to come back Monday evenings with uh, a kick stream. Yeah. All right. So that's going to be cool. Uh, stuff. Tuesday nights will be kick streams, but Ooh. they won't be every Tuesday. They'll be pop ups because there might just be some work might run late. You never know. Right. Wednesday morning going to be Twitch mm -hmm. and then Wednesday evening. If I don't have youth group or something that I serve at, that is going to be kick streams. Yeah. And then Thursdays will be kick streams, which if you don't have rehearsal, <laughs> if I don't have rehearsal, <laughs> so <laughs> there's like some things in there, but most Thursdays are going to be bunny nights. Um, so bunny it's going to be me and bunny, uh, doing that. our things. Right. Um, and Chaotic probably things. frost too, because, uh, we can't have, we can't be left unattended. So <laughs> we, we gotta have somebody, you. we gotta have somebody doing that. Tommy, what's up, Tommy? I can probably come in on those Thursdays. Actually, that would actually be really fun. Be I fun. don't get to play anymore. So KJ doesn't play any games. I don't anymore. play any games. And then YouTube, YouTube, yeah. And then YouTube on Fridays, every Friday. Yep. YouTube, YouTube on Fridays. So I, I think before we jump into the G Fuel taste test, sure, we can talk a little bit about. Balance. Oh, balance. balancing hours and balancing um, distribution of content. Oh, yeah. Across multi platforms. Why are you a proponent of so many platforms, Rash? Um, that's a great question. You know, I, uh, as I've been kind of looking at the just kind of the landscape of streaming. In 2023, you've got Twitch versus YouTube versus Kick versus TikTok, right? Yeah, there's a lot. It's, there's so many. It's crazy, platforms. right? There's Twitch versus YouTube versus Kick versus TikTok. I think that's all of them. At least <laughs> the ones probably, that matter. Now, more. though, you've got. I mean, you obviously you've got um, you've got uh, you've got Snapchat. You've got Instagram. You even have uh, what is Pinterest Reels. Pinterest is doing live video now. Oh my gosh. Everybody. And then you've got Facebook that nobody cares about. But <laughs> I will I will always be a proponent of Facebook. I'm going it, to it I will be. go to my grave and tell you that Facebook has something that the other platforms do not. That's they still true. have about two billion daily users. And secondly, they have marketplace. Right. Which is where we bought these lights. Exactly. Oops. I think that's feeding back there. Oh, probably. Um, <laughs> yeah. So there is there is something really good about Facebook, right? There is a, a, a an element there. Yeah. So as Tom in, in a short like sentence, why are you a proponent of so many socials? Before we don't have to dig deep yet. We'll get into that in the depth of the podcast. But like to give the viewers an idea. Why would you expand your footprint across so many socials? Because not everybody wants to be on every platform it's true right yeah. like there are people on twitch that just do not want to come over to youtube or facebook or kick mm -hmm. um you know there are people that refuse to get on tiktok which we'll talk about a little bit more and why you know the tiktok's in a lot of hot water right now with the congressional meeting yeah. that happened yesterday um there's a lot of people that just do not want to go there and i don't think that it makes sense because everybody's stressing out right now like well how do i get all of my viewers from twitch on kick or that on YouTube, that don't be worry thing. about that. Go build your, go build your uh, your community on that platform with the people that are already there and want to be there. And the people that do convert, let them convert. And the people let that don't want to yeah. convert, 
don't fight with them. Absolutely. Right. <laughs> it's their so, thing. <laughs> right. So, you know, so like there's, so I think that you need brand, uh, platform loyalty in 2023 should not be a thing anymore. Yeah. <laughs> it shouldn't be a thing. Right. Especially as a small creator. Oh yeah. You should just be worried about getting your foot in the door in, in every area that you can expand the footprint. Uh, as my, uh, as my very good friend, our good friend, Joel, who uh, is our talent manager and representative for uh, Horizon Union, which is the esports team that we uh, that, that I stream for. Uh, Joel says it like this. It, it, it's about getting eyes on you. It's about impressions. Yeah. The more you stream, the more areas you are, the more impressions and the likely the more likely it is that you are going to convert people to being uh, a member of your community, right? That's right. And that might sound a little funny, con we're converting people. Uh, it literally just is that you are here to inspire people and connect with them and bring them into a relationship. Yeah. That's what we, that's what we mean by converting, right? We're here to connect with people, bring them into relationship. And you can't do that if you're constantly being thwarted by Twitch's non-existent um, algorithm. algorithm, right? <laughs> or if you're not, putting videos on YouTube and then going right. live on YouTube. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. um, if you're never like posting on TikTok and then you don't interact with those comments, huge, by the way, mm -hmm. huge, by the way, because if every you're just time posting, you're only doing half the work. Yeah. Because every time you go respond, then they come back to see your response, another view. And it's an opportunity for them to go. Oh, so this guy cares about me. I'm he gonna actually start cares. Yeah. He's actually uh, interacting. Some kind of a, communication line yeah. is open now and whether i disagree with that person or i agree with that person you've started a conversation that they can come back to and they can feel invested in and yep. invest into something their voice is being heard everybody wants to be validated right like every person wants to be validated and i think that as content creators as someone on a streaming platform who yes. who, who already has an established platform giving those people a voice is very very important absolutely absolutely yeah. it's very important so anyways that wasn't short but that's that's, that's my why it's a condensed version yeah. of a longer much bigger conversation i think um but but as that's the why yeah yeah great questions now i gotta find my g fuel cup <laughs> she gotta find her g fuel cup i don't know where it went I, she definitely lost that g fuel uh we are gonna jump into we're gonna do some taste testing uh we have a flavor here that we have never tried before. Uh, I, I don't even uh, I don't even know if I've had anything that is boysenberry, but this is called Bobby boysenberry. I I couldn't even. Is it like blueberries, guys? What are boysenberries? By the way, Tommy says that he found the balance point. Don't sleep. It works amazing for two days. <laughs> I could that'll yeah. last for a minute. Yeah, that'll last for, you know. <laughs> I found my cup. All right, there we go. I don't even know what a boysenberry is. It looks like a weird, it looks like a black raspberry. Yeah. How do I, uh, when in doubt, use your teeth, guys. Is that for like everything? Yeah, yes, <laughs> that's for everything. That's literally the driving. Driving, yeah. If you communicating, uh, communicating, uh, you know what I mean? All right, here we go. So with anything G Fuel, you guys, uh, we've got uh, you've got this nice looking packaging. You've got all of the labels over here. Looks amazing. And then when you open it up, oh, sealed. It's sealed for sealed. freshness. For freshness. I'm gonna throw that out Ooh. of the way. You got to find the scoop. Uh, one of the things that I didn't do is. Uh, if you turn it upside down, oh, yes. this is a boy blunder trick. Oh, I heard it. All right. Oh, there we go. So if you do that, they have boys and berries at an amusement park here in California. Oh, let's go, dude. Uh, it's Knott's Berry Farm. That's pretty cool. They're like blackberries, I think. They're kind of like blackberries. They look like blackberry raspberries. Right. All I right. don't even know if I like boysenberries. I don't even know if I like it either. I probably won't. I probably won't, but we're going to give it a shot. Okay, so first things first, take this little scoop. Oh, this is going to be disastrous. Lid oh. off. Oh. If you're not using a water bottle, which we are not. 
get that out of here. How about you empty it first? Huh? I mean, it's just, you know. <laughs> I just blew a dust in my face. Are you sure you don't need more? I think you need more water. I don't know if I want that much. Well, that's true. Here, I'm going to give you an a adjusted scoop. scoop. An adjusted. An adjusted scoop. All right, one adjusted scoop for KJ. And then, this since this is the bigger bottle, you got to do... Hey, that smells pretty good. It does smell really good. You got to do two scoops in there. It smells like grape. It does smell like grape a little bit. But I doubt it's going to taste like grape, you know what I mean? How much caffeine per serving? Uh, four billion milligrams. I don't even know if that's a measurement. I like how it was billion mil milligrams, like not grams. 140 milligrams per serving. And that's one scoop, right? Well, yes. I'm doing the two scoops. That's a lot of caffeine. It's a lot of caffeine. You gotta get me juiced. I like getting juiced up. I've got great advice slash solutions. If you want more, you'll have to have me on the podcast as super special guest. Ooh. Super special. <laughs> Anytime you bring a Tommy, Tommy, a Tommy tsunami Tommy into the mix tsunami. can only be good. Mm. All right, here we go. Good. Oh, wow. I like boysenberry. <laughs> well, I like this. I don't know if I actually like boysenberry. I like boysenberry now. This is really good. Yo. This is great. All right. Boysenberry is good. I, I need you to. I'm going to have to go kill Nightbot. Oh, okay. Yeah. Kill it. Hey, G How Fuel. How do we kill it? Well, I've got to go remove him. Yeah, just destroy him. G Fuel. Well, I can, I can, great job. I can probably ban him. Um. Block. <laughs> block this person we just need to remove him from the moderator list because he's uh -huh. going nuts yeah he's like deleting everybody's stuff let me see we can probably do that right here i didn't even know that nightbot was connected right now it didn't say it was connected he owns everything actually right i don't like him he's dumb <laughs> okay so a bit more than a cup of coffee i think so it's actually not that bad it's not that much caffeine really Put user in timeout, remove as managing moderator. There you there go. There you go. I like that you can do that from there. Yeah. That's kind of nice. All right. That is really good, dude. Let's go. I'm impressed. What do you rank this uh, Boysenberry G Fuel? What do you rank this? Okay. So I'm ranking Boysenberry G Fuel. I'm ranking it a... I'm gonna say this is a this is solid eight. Really, that's pretty high. I like it. You like it? It's smooth. It is. It really doesn't smooth. have a it doesn't have a weird aftertaste. That's that's a solid, yeah. And not with G Fuel. I mean, any energy mm -hmm. drink has a weird aftertaste. Yeah. A lot of times that I just don't like. But this tastes nice. Yeah, it's nice. It's nice. I would have Very said nice. like six and a half. Oh, gosh. So you don't like it? I do like it. I'm just very particular. Oh. What What are you I looking for? I wouldn't go for that flavor. It was smooth. It was solid. I liked it. It had enough flavor. It didn't have a weird aftertaste. All these things are positives, but I'm, I'm a stickler. It does okay. taste like grape. It tastes a lot like grape. <laughs> it kind of I mean, tastes like grape. I, I could go to a seven. Put a seven. I'll put it at a seven. 7.5. No. Not all right. It's pushing it. <laughs> all right. So in the horizon, uh, in the horizon, uh, shaker. Yes. Tommy tsunami has deduced that, uh, this is about almost equivalent to three cups of coffee <laughs> for caffeine. That's exactly Yo! what we need on this show. <laughs> AI take it over. That's right. Dang, nice. dude. This is that's crazy. Oh my gosh. Um, all right, what's next, KJ? What's next on our list of stuff to do? We, I don't we, know. We've got uh, this. This was pretty good. We're going to have, uh, once we get some money, since we're we're, we're making bank on kick.com right now. Bank. Making so much money. Bank. <laughs> we're going to be doing some. We're gonna 50 be going, subs. Yeah, 50 subs. We're going to be going back and doing some <laughs> of those uh, 
blind taste test. Yes. There is a Mexican restaurant here in the town I live in. Oh. Oh. Dang. I would love to do some blind taste tests that, of some of their that stuff. That right there would be... We that should ask them for a sponsorship. Hey, what if we yeah. shot you hey, on YouTube? And you guys want to sponsor us? I got so much G There's Fuel There's so on much the dust over on that side of the table. <laughs> I did. I got a lot of G Fuel. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I think since we're hydrated up, we could we could jump into that bit of the podcast. One of these days, we'll have an intro for that. Yeah, we'll have a podcast intro, right? Yeah, and we'll have like a, a short, like, 22 minutes where we talk yes just dude. whatever that in, whatever that information is so weekly i think you can pretty much guarantee like some kind of a taste test from us whether it be mm-hmm. g fuel or something else um or something else from another sponsor g fuel's not sponsoring this by the way no just, guys that was a, a that joke was, it's a joke that was a joke g fuel did not sponsor the stream <laughs> <laughs> yet yet Maybe. Use code Horizon for now. Until yeah, use code a, Horizon until there's another for 30% code. off, you yeah. guys. Until there's another code, use code Horizon. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so we've got a couple things that we need to talk about, right? Yeah. That we want to actually talk with you guys about. I would love to get your opinions on what's going on because mm. uh, th- there's some crazy stuff going on. Yeah. Some crazy stuff. Everything in the social media shift, the internet shift. Information distribution shift. Yep. Uh, apps are coming out. Apps are feeling like they're um, getting eradicated off the face of the planet, and they might be. Who knows? Some people might be in trouble. We'll see. I don't know. It'll be it'll be very interesting to see. Um, but you know, like, was it the beginning of the year that they made Twitter have the yes blue check? The blue check. You could buy your buy, blue check. Buy the blue check. You what buy a, your blue what check. a load. <laughs> and that actually kind of sucks because I knew that that was going to have a negative effect on oh, yeah. social media. Because if you don't buy the blue check, you don't get pushed. Like you actually, your posts, yeah. your tweets get suppressed. Absolutely. That sucks. Yeah. It didn't used to be that way. It didn't used to be that way. And eventually it's going to be become so saturated with big company that all it's full of is big company and there's no consumers. That's yep. what I feel is going to happen to anybody that implements that, including Instagram, who is now on that train. Yeah, same Instagram train. is now doing the same thing. That sucks. That's not cool. Um, you know, so now Instagram is doing that. And I don't know if you guys are like on Instagram as much as we are, but we actually really enjoy Instagram. Um, I it's, wish it uh, would quit chasing tail of other weird fads, but yeah, I do enjoy Instagram. So yeah, it's a uh, it's I've always enjoyed it for the art, yeah, aspect of it. Like you a know what I mean? Art, yeah, art it's very much like a portfolio type thing. Yeah. Um. So you know you've got you've got some of that stuff, and I think it you know a lot of that plays into just algorithm itself. YouTube's algorithm changes, I feel like, monthly. At least every six weeks. Something something shifts. And I think that that's a good thing because it keeps tilling the ground, right? Like, it keeps yeah. things fresh. Mm. Whereas, if you just buy your viewers or your subscribers or your your reach, I don't know. Like, the, the well, opportunity get... to be able to do that is fine. Like, I'm no, I don't frown on that. I work. I've worked at a church in the past as a communications director, where I bought ads all the time around special holidays, and I know that businesses do that. And I went to school for PR. Like I know that that's a good thing to have, but I don't think that the entire platform should be sole based on buy it or get trumped. Like you are non-existent right. if you don't buy into the program. And I think that that's crazy that a whole platform would shift to that mindset and not foresee the fact of it going into a non-consumerism platform at all. It's just a sell, sell, sell. Well, sell to who? Your competition? <laughs> I'm confused. Like, yeah. what, what's happening? There's, there's no viewers out there. It's interesting, right? Yeah. And then it begs into question, like, you know, are you, <clears throat> are you actually making connections then with people? Because that, mm-hmm. honestly, I said this at the beginning of the year, um, I really feel like 2023, like this year, 
there's a shift in Gen Z and how Gen Z is the coming into the adult world. Coming like, into the adult world, they're and, established. The first Gen Zers are now established in what could be their full time, full uh, lifelong job. Right yeah, now. right. You know, and yeah. so like a lot of who we are, we as creators, and we're older. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely older. You know, uh, <laughs> I'm definitely older. But like, it's interesting uh, how you know us as creators, we are. Um, you know, we're, we're, that's the, that's the age that we're talking to because they're taking over, right? They're gone. Uh, unfortunately, oh. if you're older than me, I'm not really concerned about you and I'm not trying to make content for you. Right. I'm sorry. If, you know, if you can see me, great. I love if you, yeah, if you are older, you know, in the older generation, I, that's great that you consume it. But my focus is to help our incoming generation, Gen exactly. Z. Because yeah. they're going to be running and leading things, and I want, and they need, they need people who are who have the experience of a business mind yeah. to exactly. influence them in a way. But we also need them to influence us. So I want to learn from those guys. Yeah, I'm not trying to leave them in the dust. I'm not saying I'm wiser and holier than thou. Listen to me. I don't know Jack because I didn't grow up with an iPhone. I didn't. I yeah. didn't. I didn't even have a phone. And it was a BlackBerry until I was 16. My mom said. You don't get a phone until you're going places. I didn't have one till I was uh, 19, and it was a StarTac. Remember the StarTac phones, you guys? <laughs> no, nobody remembers the StarTac phone. Nobody I remembers the StarTac. I have no idea what that Somebody is. has to know what a StarTac phone is, <laughs> all right? Let's Gen say, Z definitely does not know what a StarTac is. They do not know what that they is. They do not know what that my is. Dad had They're going to be like, StarTrek? <laughs> yeah, my dad had a bag phone in his in his car, a yeah. bag phone, and he would... Uh, he would yeah, I was like, my dad's got a phone in his car, dude. <laughs> so cool. So cool, man. Dude, I you're up, old, Alex says. <laughs> I, gr I grew up with siblings that my oldest sibling is not in my generation. My youngest sibling is. They're all older than me. So I have this weird blend of, um, have you heard about the, the generation? Uh, I don't even know what it's called. Like the bridge between... Gen X. Yeah. And I don't know what it's millennials. Called either, but there's this weird blend. That's where all my brothers is. sit. My brothers all sit in that generational bridge. So I was influenced by a lot of that. So I don't really think like a millennial. I think even older, which is not good for content yeah. creation. But I do feel like I have a lot to invest into the Gen Z generation. Yeah. But I also feel like I have a lot to learn from them. And I never want to leave them in the dust. Yeah, so. exactly. It's very the, important. The Nextel two-way was a great phone, okay? <laughs> so uh, Gen Z is going to play a huge part in content creation in 2023 because yeah. it's less about the super high quality fancy gear and all of that and more about relationship it is i think yeah um and so that's why that's why i think it's kind of crazy that apps like are going more towards pay to win when really mm. i don't know that that actually helps you i think they're behind i think literally technology as a whole is behind what gen z is is going to want to push and they're gonna have to like flip that yeah. when, as they grow into their full-time positions. Like the people, the young people that are 18 right now that are making $300,000 a month, like the, that one kid, is is going 16 to, years old, 16 he's years making old. 300 grand a month. And so he's going to like go, wow. grow into, he's going to be a developer of something. And I'm not saying he's a developer of an app or a thing, but like he is going to probably change the entire world because his brain is thinking totally different. He's on a different level, different dude. Plan. I missed out on that gene. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I need that gene. Holy cow, dude. Um, so, yeah. So, I think that that's so... Uh, really, if you're in content creation uh, and you are looking to grow, I think you need to start thinking, one, get rid of the platform loyalty crap. Yeah. Nobody cares. All right? Especially if you're small. Like, what yeah. does that do for you? What Nobody's does that do for you? winning being on Twitch only. No. <clears throat> um, so get rid of the platform loyalty crap because that's not going to help you. And then start reframing. What's that? Start reframing. <laughs> Some floating in front of my face. Start <laughs> reframing. Yeah. Start reframing your mind around how I can build relationships with people. 
but you can't. It, here's the here's the part that gets really dangerous. You can't do that just to grow, <laughs> because that's not genuine. Follow for follow. That's, that's definitely that not crap. genuine. So so like they're gonna uh, snuff that out so fast, for, man. For instance, someone came to me and I have this happens a lot. Hey, I've got this thing. How do you how do I do this? Oh, let me help you. I don't do that then to go. All right, let me. Let me, I've got an opportunity to get this person in my community, right? That's not literally, that is the furthest thing from my mind. It's not even there. It's actually, I see a need. I have something that I can offer. I want to help. And that, so your heart has to be for connecting, helping, learning, befriending, starting relationships, growing. And as you do that, People will buy into who you are and mm-hmm. buy into what you have to offer. And and then you've got you've got trust in a space that is really difficult for people to trust people because we're all in different parts of the country or world and who knows who you are in real life, right? So like what you see with me is what you're gonna get in real life and the good, bad, ugly, you know, all of it, right? And so I think that as you be who you are and as you start like genuinely trying to grow relationships and be a part of people's process and journey in life, that is, I think, the best way to grow in any of this stuff in 2023. And not everybody. And the problem with that is it's not viral and it's it's not not, it's not sexy looking. Right. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's not like, it doesn't look attractive to do that. Cause that takes intentionality. It takes a lot of time. It's true. And it's not viral. You people are going to be give like, and you give and you give and you give and you might not get anything yeah. back. But here's the thing. You will be a better content creator. If you, oh, yeah. if you, if Absolutely. you can notice the need and bring value to that one person, yeah. you will have a faithful follower a faithful community member a faithful friend forever absolutely absolutely. and that's where the buy-in is and that's that's what takes it from good to great yeah so it's uh it's gonna be it's interesting time for content creation now let's talk about shift gears a little bit and uh let's go back to the conversation of uh of like kick.com because there's a lot of people yeah. it's like Bloodthirsty, it is man. so <laughs> polarized it's either well i guess it's not really polarized because there's a lot of people in the middle where it's like i don't know i'll check it out right but you've got a massive following of like yes death to every other platform only kick and then you've got kick absolutely not and what i find and then you've got some people sprinkled in the middle like me i'm kind of in the middle right um but i think that if you're not capitalizing on the opportunity that is right now yeah <laughs> like right now right now where you've got less of a uh, saturated market on kick you can rise up so like my stream the other day that had 40 viewers in it on kick Instantly put us in the second row of Fortnite streamers. Yeah. We're, that's the page. I mean, the Fortnite page, you've got like five streamers across and we're in the second row. That's that's huge. It's we would never be anywhere near that on Twitch. It's so oversaturated with the same people doing the same thing. On top of that, I think that, uh, you know, I think that there's uh, there's a lot of people who are looking for new people. A lot of people who are looking for to connect with new streamers and new content creators that were buried in Twitch. So there's an opportunity with Kick that you one you get seen, mm-hmm. uh, you can get monetized very quickly. I think it took us four streams. You should be uh, benefiting from this. Four it's, streams, it's we were monetized in front of your face. You know, you know um, it's right here. Fifty subs is way more money than you're ever going to see on Twitch. True. You know, um, like in it and uh, it actually doesn't embarrass me to tell people, you know, hey, I stream. Would you consider supporting me for five dollars a month? Well, how much do you ke- get uh, like two dollars and some change? Wait, I'm paying five dollars a month for you to get two something dollars. Yeah. Yeah. But it will help me. 
How is that going to help you? You know, that's I'd rather em- just donate to you. That's embarrassing, <laughs> right? Yeah. Like it's embarrassing to do that. It's way cooler to say, "Hey, I, I five bucks a month. I make ninety five percent of that. Thank you so much for your, you know, support." Right? Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, so like it's less embarrassing. Here's here's the here's the issue that people have with kick, and I always I find this very very interesting. Um, go ahead. Oh, and ahead. Rebel, I want to address this question. Uh, I'm going to address this mm-hmm. next because thank you because that's actually where I was leading into. Um, <clears throat> the problem with kick is this: that there is a negative connotation. There is a cloud that is surrounding kick, but it's not because kick is bad it the cloud that's surrounded the negative cloud that's surrounding kick is literally from people's perceptions and they don't do research right. welcome to 2023 in the world where nobody thinks for themselves yeah so i said hey i couldn't give a crap what joe schmo says about kick let me go do some research because mm-hmm. i want to know for me right like and because you researched everything, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Because the there brand is all of it. The, the brand is really important, right? What you brand yourself and what you surround yourself is important. If I'm going into streams and I'm, you know, acting crazy and being disrespectful and I'm, you know what I mean, yeah. causing problems, yeah. you think that's gonna be good for my brand? No, right? Like what you do, what you say online, offline. Wherever you're at, it matters, all right? Because then when you go, because then if I get invited to Comic-Con, like we were just at, then people are going to be like, well, you, but I saw you in this person's stream, and, you know, here you're trying to act like you're this way, but then I saw you in this other stream, right? Mm -hmm. Like, people notice, you know? So it's very important to to surround yourself with what you, uh, what is going to be brand-friendly for you. This is your business, so I thought, all right, there's a lot of excitement and there's a lot of like instant, very visceral like pushback yeah. to this platform. And so I went to go do some research, all right? Main issues are this. Well, they're forcing people to gamble. You're an adult. I, it, I haven't been forced to gamble. You're a, you were literally an adult. <laughs> Well, stake.com it made the made the platform. No, they literally did not. Okay. First of all, let's talk about stake.com. Stake.com is the largest gambling platform in the world. Mm-hmm. Uh they are heavily uh so the Europe is Europe has the strictest gambling laws in the world. You literally cannot have a license, be licensed in Europe to gamble or to be a a platform that allows gambling if you are not above board and doing everything right. And guess what? Stake.com is the largest licensed platform in Europe in the in the most difficult place to be licensed. Absolutely. Um, They're so so strict on rules for everything. And if 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 they're doing it right, then there's nothing to disagree with except for the fact that you don't gamble. And I don't gamble. And I either. don't gamble. I <laughs> and I'm on the platform. Gambling, gambling for gambling ruined my grandfather's life. Mm-hmm. Ruined it. Dude, I mean, tore our family to pieces, lost everything. Uh so gambling for me, I just don't do it. My family is a very addictive family. Like we mindset. we like went, the- yeah, the mindset. Like there's a very addictive there's a it is a generational thing, right? The, so like when it comes to alcohol or <laughs> drugs or yeah. gambling, you it's, name it. Nope. <laughs> I just stay away from those things because I know that the men in my family have never fared well with that. Mm-hmm. Well, but how can you be around a website that promotes it? How do you get on the internet? Do you do this with every brand? That's my question exactly. to people is, are you researching in everything? Netflix, are you re- researching the blanket that you buy, the store that you go to? Did you boycott Target that one time? Your Nike they shoes were are being with, made by like, kids in sweatshops. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like how like far, no joke. Why did you pick, why are people picking this one thing? Because, it's, fight with? because it's easy and it's different. Yeah. So, um, so one, Stake.com, 
whether you like it or not, they're just a financial partner. They 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 said, hey, we want to we want to partner with the large streamers on the platform. Here is a retainer mm -hmm. that we're going to give your company to allow us to partner with streamers on their responsibly. Yeah. All right. So that's so stake.com has no other involvement other than it's a partner of the platform. So is Alpha Romeo. Mm -hmm. Alpha Romero, I mean, Alpha Romero. F1 massive F1, you know, racing team. Alpha Romero is also a massive financial partner of kick.com. There's some other partnerships that they're doing, right? Um so the stake.com thing, not really what people say it is. Right. It, they're the owners, Eddie, who who created stake.com, owns stake.com, partnered with Trainrex and the other guys to help create this platform so that stake.com could have a platform, streaming platform that they could partner with yeah. the streamers who do uh who do gambling streams. If you don't like it, cool, me either. I just don't go to those streams. I don't, you know what I mean? I don't know. It's just it's the same thing. And secondly, uh, the other like whatever your whatever your house is your house. Clean your house. Well, I'm You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're going to talk like. about that. Yeah, <laughs> let me get to that cuz that, that's a great point, right? Um issue number 2, there's hot tub streams. There's sex they they allow sex on the platform. No, they really don't. <laughs> one person tried, he got banned for a day and everybody's like, "Oh, he only got a one day ban." Well, the girl that got was having sex on Twitch got a one week ban. Is that much better? And she and nothing literally nothing happened. At least the owners addressed it. Addressed it with the streamer and said, "Hey, you can't do that here." Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So yeah. I don't understand the same the same problems that Twitch is having, Kick is having, Kick is having, Twitch is having. And I don't understand. And it's this, and it's this. If you put a live camera in front of a bunch of kids, what do you think they're going to do? <laughs> right? It's just going to be chaos, right? Like, they, that's, the, welcome to the internet. Justin TV, which is Twitch, had NFL games. They were streaming NFL games. They were streaming porn. <laughs> they were streaming, you name it, man. They were doing it on Justin TV. Justin TV was wild. All right. Once Amazon bought Twitch or bought Justin TV, turned it to turned Twitch. It to Twitch yeah. uh, they put their new TOS out. There was still stuff happening. Mm -hmm. Right. So what's funny is the people that were like, I am so disgusted with Twitch. Uh, there's hot tub streams now and there's sex on the platform. I do not want to be on Twitch anymore in 2022. 2023, kick.com comes out. Someone has, you know, sex on stream. I am so glad that I'm on Twitch and I'm not on kick.com. That is a disgusting plan. It's like, okay, you're literally the same people saying the same thing. Grow up, all right? <laughs> Please grow up. And then thirdly, the biggest, one of the biggest issues people has, well, it looks like Twitch. All right, so let's, <laughs> who cares? That's a good business move. If your goal as a business is to go, hey, we're a new streaming platform, but we want all these Twitch people to come over here and see how good we are. Don't you want the integration to feel like, similar? If you get your groove, yes, you do. If you get your groove fast enough as a streamer, as a content creator, or as a user, that's a good thing. They that's want it to feel comfortable. They like, want it to feel comfortable. They you, want to feel familiar. I'm pretty sure you that's can. like a good mind. That's a, that's actually a strategic mindset. Yeah. So these are the three major issues, which literally have zero argument to them. If you feel like you are being forced to do something, you need to grow up. Yeah. Number one. And I know that that might feel harsh, but I don't care. Grow up. You're an adult. You cannot say that anybody is forcing you to do anything. If you don't want to do the thing, don't do the thing. If you feel like it's got too much uh, too much stuff that just doesn't align with your brand, there's too much hot Maybe tub streams, there's too much sex, stop getting on the internet. Stop. Get off the internet. Don't get on the internet ever again. Because literally, that's the entire internet. <laughs> okay? That's true. Stop getting on the internet if you feel like it's just uh, if you feel like it just looks like Twitch and that's just wrong because they somehow stole something. <laughs> you should understand 
the greatest artist of all time, Picasso, mm. said that great artists, or that a uh, good artist borrow, great artists steal. It's that that is literally the quote. That is the backbone of every creative agency in the world. DSLR is the exact same Nikon nobody, and Canon body. Same. Nobody <laughs> has an original thing. Everybody steals from and great things. Steals from great things and yeah. makes it better. Yeah. And make it their own. It's the and brain that's the behind whole it. Thing, it's the right? brain behind it. It's the way you innovate it. It's the way you twist it. Yeah. How can you complain about this when everybody has short form videos and you're gonna recycle content? Everybody's content's the same well, content. <laughs> well, no, no, no. Even just creating a vertical video and you say, yes. Oh, I'm gonna put this on Instagram. Oh, I might as well put it on YouTube and TikTok too. What? You're doing the same thing. Like, I don't understand how that's a negative yes. thing if it's recycling for you. Um, so our next question is for someone who, who, go ahead. Oh, uh, hold on, hold on. Let's, oh, you're uh, going to catch up? up? Yeah. Okay, let's catch yeah, up yeah. then. Um, uh, let's see. Tommy says, this is an interesting topic. Um, I am slowly moving from Twitch to YouTube with Kick. I would be the only person streaming my game. And that is the thing, all right? So, could be good, uh, could be bad, so let's right? let's talk about that real quick, right? I think that might be okay. However, I did look at that that there wasn't a lot of viewership for Fortnite. Um, you know what I mean? But there was just enough that it was like, okay, there are people watching, and yeah. even if I had eight to ten people, that's eight to ten people knew that I don't yeah, have, right? For sure. Yeah. Right. Um, there may be people on Terraria. Uh, so Tommy consider this <clears throat> you would be the ultimate early adopter of bringing Terraria to that platform yeah and if you viewers, could start yeah. it and there could be an opportunity to start like marketing that that could be huge that could be huge for you it could not be but it could be huge but it might be huge and it's up to right? you to determine to predetermine go how much do I want to invest in this do I really want yeah. to like invest my time into it Maybe I give it six weeks and I try it and see if it works for me. And if it does, if it does, like everything is a, is bet on an if though, right? Like, I yeah, mean, it really is. We're banking on YouTube right now. Yeah. Hoping, like hoping, you know, but I, you know what I mean? But I, but here's, but it goes back to the other thing. Not every platform, not every platform will be good for you. However, exactly. uh, you're never going to know if you don't try. So maybe just throw it out there and see what happens. Right. But. Uh, Tommy, you're still doing what you should be doing. You have Twitch. You're doing YouTube now. You're moving and you're growing on another platform. That is honestly the goal. Kick isn't going to be good for everybody. That's true. Twitch isn't going to be good for everybody. Yeah. There's a lot of people I look on Kick and I go, wow, you are really successful here. You would be absolutely not successful yeah. on Twitch. Yeah. There's no way you would make it, right? right. That's true. It's just a different, like, it's a different platform in that person that maybe was failing on twitch came to kick and found some success and now they're like pressing into that right. that's awesome do it you want to see that type of thing you know what yeah. i mean um for someone uh who thrives on interaction with an active chat do you believe that there is better connectivity between the broadcaster and the viewers on kick versus twitch actually i think that twitch is still the king of interaction and community yeah the bits the emotes the uh way that the chat is formed yeah. the fact that it has established very reputable bots yep. to help guide your platform or your 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 stream on that platform i do think that that twitch is king even over youtube in that regard exactly yeah i think that yeah i think that that's i think that that's true i think that twitch is going to hold that crown until people start developing their own for for quite a bit however the thing that I will say about Kick, they're motivated to win. They're uh, they're innovating in its infancy. Yeah. All right. Kick is innovating in its infancy, and uh, they're listening. They Kick care. is listening to its uh, streamers, to the people who are coming over from other platforms. They are listening. So they're they're listening. They're innovating. They're motivated to win. And, and they're doing this right out of the gate. And they're like doing that, it right out of the gate, what, which is crazy. What a good like foundation to build off of for you to go right out of the gate. 
We're going to do everything that Twitch is not doing, but we're also going to establish everything that Twitch and YouTube has. Right. So that we have a solid ground to work on and build this this kingdom. Yeah. And I think that that's good. And it could take over because of those reasons alone. Are they there? No. I'm the first to admit they're not Absolutely there not. yet. I'm not selling out for any one platform because nobody's there, there yet. Is, Technology's always going to grow and develop. There is some new bots coming out. I hear that Nightbot is being developed for Kick, which is massive. That's huge. So that actually tells me Kick is legit and they're not going anywhere because Nightbot would never... No. Develop for for somebody that for something like that. Yeah. So night I think night. They're having the conversations, the, right? They're having closed door. Yeah. Hey, let's make a deal. Conversations there's, that are big. Um, but there's there's other bots out there now that definitely help bot ricks. I just got into it. It you do have to join the Discord. You've got to get on a waiting list. I got in finally, which was great. It took me like three days. Right. Um, so Botrix, I was checking it out. It feels so much more like a Stream Elements bot. Yeah. Which is great, like Cloud Bot. Um, you've got a lot of interaction, and engagement, and you know, and uh, things that you can do there. So uh, yeah, I think. Uh, but I, I think, um, you know, I think uh, it's it's interesting. Kick is very interesting. They're changing some crazy things. YouTube uh, is honestly, yeah. YouTube is honestly the platform that I want to fully invest in for the so longevity much. of our career. So if you're not investing in YouTube, because this is the thing that will keep making money for you, uh, time and time again, you get partnered on YouTube, and you've got uh, a good brand that you're surrounded yourself with that you built. Yeah. Companies are going to go, hey, we want to attach our ad revenue to that page. Yeah, that's a good looking page. They're they're clean. They're brand friendly. They're doing things right. Let's put ad revenue in their in videos. Yeah, that's how it works. That's where you make your money. If so you, you have to be investing in YouTube. Right. And uh, and this is where you made a great point uh, this year. 2023 is about lives. It's about long form. It's about short form. About everything. It, you ha and it's <laughs> yeah. about community posts. Community right? posts are so huge. Community posts are massive. So huge. You gain so much more visibility and interaction through community posts. Now, it might not feel like it, but Hans, who's on our team, uh, she's actually our... She's our Gen Z. Gen Z. -er. She's, <laughs> she's our, our Gen Z. -er, right? Yeah. We uh, want to have that year. Yeah. On, uh, or we want to have that voice in our ear all the Absolutely. time. Absolutely. So hands. We have a couple of Gen Zers that we ask questions to on purpose. Like we we want to hear the feedback, and it's not just like from hate comments or random comments or trolls. We want to hear from the people that ingest the content. Yeah. That go, hey, this is wrong, or hey, this is really old. <laughs> yeah. I want to hear those things. That's not funny. You yeah. know, stop, go away, right? Yeah. So hands, uh, you know, she let us know. She's like, well, I get posts from channels I don't even follow. Yeah. And I'm like, really. Okay, and so we started testing it out. Absolutely, man. You, I, you start if you start interacting with your community posts on YouTube, oh, and yeah. you start like posting things. Polls, polls are huge. Polls. Like doing polls for people. Like what any gun kind of, is best? Or any kind of controversial con content that you can make. Yeah. About your content, like, um, uh, like season two's SMG is way be better than season four's SMG. That yeah. kind of thing is massive. If and you can lean start a conversation, into the yeah, angry, lean into the trolls. <laughs> lean into the trolls. Like, that's great. Don't, don't, uh, what I found is detrimental is when you go, yeah, well, you're stupid. <laughs> you know, if you like fire back at them, you know? No. Uh, I had someone who said that I should, uh, I'm, I think they said that I, I should die or something. It was kind of crazy. You know, I was like, I'm just going to delete the comment. It's not worth it, you know? Right. Yeah. But if it's a comment that was like, you really suck at this game. Like, oh man, thanks for the feedback. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. You know, I'm the one making money. They're not. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And you made their view. Yeah. Thanks for the view. <laughs> but when and you, the comment. but when you reply back, they go, oh, that guy replied again. Another view. <laughs> they come back. Another view. If YouTube has been established, like well established for 20 years, it's not going to go anywhere. It really has always been king. And I yeah. will say it has always, it's always in development. They they have tons of money, tons of money. 
And I think that it ultimately is king, even if it's behind on a few things like the chat bot and the, the integrate, the user integration or user yeah. interface versus like Twitch. Um, how you said Twitch is always king. I do think it's going to be king, but I don't think YouTube has well, for forgotten now. about those. For now, it's things. king. Yes. As far as community engagement. YouTube doesn't release something until they mean it. You know what I mean? And I, that I can get behind because like yeah. they they want it right and they want it right as soon as it releases. And I think that that quality is it speaks huge volumes. Right? Massive. Yeah, huge massive volumes. things. And there's nothing on Twitch that I can create that'll continue to make me money years from now that YouTube will. Like YouTube, I can make a video once. I can get affiliated marketed with with some brand. And I can make that video once and right. six months later, not make any content, but still make thousands of dollars. This is real life stories, not from me, yep. but it, <laughs> I'll get there one day. But like people are making a video once they're putting the, the link in there. They're getting not just ad revenue from YouTube, but they're also getting ad revenue or revenue from the company that they made the video about the product that they made the video about. They're using their affiliated link for marketing. And they're making money by doing nothing. You put in the six hour work day once on the video. Absolutely. You post it to the platform. And six months later, you're still making money. You're you still make your money. And you don't don't count it out two years later because that product could could have a long yeah. shelf life exactly. for you. And so that is that's why YouTube is ultimately king over all of it. I think so. TikTok is interesting. <laughs> TikTok, uh, who knows what's going on with TikTok? All right, <laughs> hands raised in chat. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> so TikTok has been crazy because with the addition to TikTok gaming and hitting, well, I think it's like, it was 10,000. I think it got bumped to 5,000 or something like that. Um, you know, followers mm -hmm. on uh, TikTok, you can get a stream key. Yeah. You can apply for a stream key. Uh, and TikTok stopped pushing so much gaming and it's like video watching or whatever. The feed, yeah. The feed, uh, the video feeds, like gaming kind of got bumped, bumped back a little Knocked bit. Down, yeah. But they were like heavily pushing live streams, yeah. gaming live streams. I think more than any other platform. And so people were growing massive on Twitch because of TikTok, mm -hmm. which is crazy, right? And that's why um, early adoption matters. Like if you're already established on TikTok and you have availability to get that stream key and you didn't take advantage of that, even though TikTok may die, <laughs> like you easily could have converted people from TikTok yeah. to another platform. Or if they're already, a, if, they're, if they're a viewer and they're on multiple platforms watching them, oh, you're on Twitch? Okay, TikTok died? Okay, I'm coming. Yeah. Absolutely. I've already established a relationship with you. Uh, yeah. Like that's smart marketing. And that's why early adoption matters. That's why leaning into all the trends matter. Even if they fail the next day, you could have gained a ton of traction from that one thing that literally skyrocketed your career. In yeah. this. So. Tommy makes a great point. The hard part is getting to a relevant size where you can mm. find brand deals or sponsors. But once you get there, those videos can keep generating some sort of revenue long term. And actually, it's not as hard as you think, Tommy, because uh, some of the research I've been doing this year is this is the year for micro and nano influencers. Yeah. The companies. Ones, they want real life people. Companies are now yeah. looking for micro and nano influencers. That's on that's purpose. On purpose. On that's, purpose. That's, those are creators that have from 1,000 to 10,000 followers. Okay. So that would be like um, a us. nano, right? <laughs> That's us. Um, and then, you know, from like 10,000 to like 20,000 mm -hmm. or 30,000 is like your micro, mm -hmm. right? So like nano and micro influencers are actually a priority now. And there is a website that we've been using, which yep. you are going to be seeing some, spo not sponsorships, but, br but deals with companies to uh, promote and showcase things that are well relevant to us, yeah. right? So one of the things relevant to us is nerd culture, uh, fashion, you know, um, socialcat.com. Check this site out, all right? We're gonna have a video coming out about this, but I wanna just get this out there. Socialcat.com, you can sign up, you can, uh, you can showcase who you are as a creator, and what they'll do is they'll match you with brands that 
you can either uh, do a uh, affiliate marketing with where you know you get a code, mm -hmm. which I'm not really so much into that. I don't want a bunch of that. Or companies that will send you free stuff so that you can do product reviews and you get to keep the stuff and and you're you know you're giving product reviews, right? Which is yeah. super cool. So that gets your foot in the door for free. Yeah, for, for free. free. That gets your foot in the door for other brands because if you do really well with those with the those smaller brands, smaller brand with those build. videos, yeah. then a, a then then somebody else will come down the road and go, oh man, they actually have a portfolio of like representing brands and giving product reviews that is actually really huge. Like yeah. that's great quality. I want to partner with that. Yeah. Even though they don't have a million followers, I still want that because that is that's somebody who can connect with an audience. Yeah, and they want that smaller audience. Why? We are like, but why? Why would they want someone smaller? I was just part of, um, so I, I went to school for public relations and um, marketing and such. And so when I, I emphasized in broadcast journalism with a with PR basis, right? Like I, I really wanted to do PR and marketing, but mm -hmm. I, on the broadcast uh, side of things. So I was interviewed um, by a grad student who was talking to me about ads and what I felt as a millennial, like how ads were being pushed in front of me. And I'm like, well, if, if X, Y, Z, if Rihanna was wearing Nikes, I know that, that that's, I don't know that that has much, I don't know if that speaks to me because I know she was just paid bank to wear some Nikes one day and she probably got to keep the Nikes, but she probably kept them in her closet and doesn't even care about Nike or yeah. whatever the product is. If she's paid enough, she'll do the thing, <clears throat> but it doesn't speak to me as a person. Now, back in the day when Michael Jordan was doing that and I was a kid, that was a big deal to me. But now today, like, why isn't that a big deal? We started like breaking that down. And it's like, because there's so much money in advertisement these days, it's not the same. Like, Jordan wanted to wanted to tie his name to something yeah. and build a business from that. <clears throat> Rihanna doesn't need people. She's Rihanna or whoever. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not picking on Rihanna, but like whoever, X, Y, Z, like they don't need that product. They just want the money <clears throat> from that product. And that's good business for them. But as a consumer, that doesn't speak to me. Right. So that's why businesses well, that are ahead of the game are leaning into micro well, I think nano because, creators. Because they realize that, you know, uh, lifestyle is better than, you know, a photo shoot, right? right. If if you can show, if you wear how, it for life, yeah. If you wear, if you show how your this actually is a part of your lifestyle, yeah. G Fuel, you name it. Like there are so many brands. Are like we actually want lifestyle photos. We want life. We want to see you using this at Every the day. at the supermarket or whatever yeah. you know what i mean we don't want a crazy so ten thousand dollar commercial we want to see you with it every day yeah and because that's what, that's what people that, that's what buys again that's the that's the buy that's the smoke and mirrors are gone now in this today's culture we want real life interaction that means something and so companies yeah. are doing that social cat is free you don't have to pay for it uh social tech social cat.com it's totally free you don't have to pay for it you can do three things. There are three ways, three campaigns that you can set up. A uh, campaign for free goods in exchange for product reviews. Um, a campaign for where affiliate. you get affiliate, where you can earn money through commission if it's something. Um, or uh, or uh, a paid advertisement where you can you can set your price for how much a, you will charge a company to do a high quality video of uh of you know TikTok reels uh photo shoot mm -hmm. posts you know like however that. you can't get to that until you reach a certain level so yeah. that's the thing with social cat is you can't get paid for stuff but you can get free stuff where you can do affiliate now that you can uh, Tommy they'll do there's like a whole food section oh so you do absolutely. cooking streams there's a whole food section yeah. where it'll start matching with companies selling knives or whatever and then you you write to them. You say, "Hey, this, this is, is my I'm... channel. This is who I am. I would love to partner with you. This is what I can do." You know. And then they go, "Oh, I love that. Yeah, let's. Uh, we've got a new product coming out. A new set of knives. Would we, we're gonna send you a new set of knives for you to showcase how our knives are better than the other knives or whatever, right?" 
And um, for me, I think we've noticed that when we're like researching this stuff, it's not always like blow smoke up their booty holes. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like it's they okay want, to be reality. real yeah. about their product. If I get a webcam and it just don't look good, I'm going to say it don't look good. Here's the problems I had with this. Here's the good things. Here's the bad things. Yeah. This is what I would change. Because you know what I mean? they want feedback from a, from a real live person, not just from their tech crew yeah. or the developers and things like that. They want to understand how you use it in your life and what that means for an everyday user and what feedback they can take from that to yep. make their product better. Absolutely. Honesty Absolutely. matters and it goes a long ways. Yeah. I think my issue is that I'm kind of in this middle area of being employable and also being a disabled veteran. So I'm not sure where to go if that makes sense. Yeah, that does make sense because that is a little bit of a weird. Yeah. That's a weird. Uh, it's a weird place. Like I. I'm assuming there's some things there that, you know, you know, that uh, that that might one monetarily, it could make some, you know, it could be a little weird to navigate that. I'm not sure, but I could see that. But two, then, you know, you've got, you know, you've, you've just you're in a you're in an in between place where it's like, <laughs> how do I market me? You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, so I, I totally get that. Honestly, I would. uh I would lean into your being a veteran more than anything. Yeah. Because um because that's that's a storyline and a reality that people can connect with. For it's sure. I can that's why I I connect with you. Like I love that you served our country, right? And so like I want to know more. I want to hear from you. I want to hear stories. You know? Um as and so like I think that you lean into that if that makes sense. Um uh is this for streaming or for long form mat videos like on youtube the uh <clears throat> are you talking social about cat? social cat there's a variety of ways that you yeah. can deliver content sometimes it's it, and they don't they don't specify they just say posts well they do some yes some some don't specify they just say tiktok tiktok post reels so it's like short form content mostly, mostly. short form or yeah. photoshop photo uh like a photo shoot. but you could do longer you know what i mean yeah absolutely you could do a 10 minute review on something and you know and send that to them they're gonna love that right yeah yeah so that's what we're doing um so we're, we are uh we've got there's a company that uh is sending us stuff right now they're called dumb skull uh they are an incredibly cool nerd yeah. clothing fashion Really cool stuff, you know, surrounded by gaming, D&D, &D, and mm -hmm. just nerd culture, right? Pop culture. Yeah. Um, really, really, really great branding. I loved them instantly when I saw them. I was like, I right, we got we to gotta yeah. do something Good with them. Good quality. We got to do a collab with yeah. these guys, you know? And so we've been talking. And so Dumb Skull, uh, Dumb Skull is sending us stuff. So you're going to see us do some stuff. One, we're going to do it live on stream. But then we're also going to make a, a, some videos. We're going to do some photos. It's going to be cool, right? So... That's kind of how, how it's going to work for us. So. Yeah. Anyways, good questions. Very good questions. I bought... I just... What? Banned you. How is he in it still? came back. How did he get back in? We removed him as a moderator. Go away. <laughs> Ban him. Oh, my gosh. D&D, &D, I'm in sold. Yeah, Dumb Skull. You can look him up on Twitter. Or no, on uh, Instagram. It says add him as a moderator. What? How high, is he doing this? this Put him in timeout. Put you in timeout. You're in timeout. <laughs> Put Nightbot in timeout, dude, for 300 seconds. You get timed out, Nightbot. Um, <laughs> so, cr really great conversations. Really good questions. Uh, if you guys don't know what's going on with TikTok, uh, just be aware if you make a lot of TikTok content. A congressional hearing was held with the CEO of TikTok um, trying to shut down TikTok in America. Um, basically, uh, if you don't know, TikTok is owned by a parent company called ByteDance. They're a Chinese tech giant. Yeah. Um, and they have a close relationship between China, Chinese government and businesses operating within the country. And there's massive concerns that TikTok could be used as a tool for the Chinese government to collect and exploit user data and spread propaganda. Now, history surrounding this, I don't know if I didn't know I realized this until I started digging into it. 
Yeah. Uh, there's some history around TikTok being banned. In June 2020, India actually was the first to lead a whole pack of countries that banned TikTok after the government said that the app was um, pre-judicial uh, to sovereignty yeah. and integrity of India, right? I remember a small talk about it, yeah. but I didn't dig into it, but I do remember India. There like, were some others the around thing, the yeah. country that started that. In 2022, December of 2022, um, the U.S. banned TikTok on all federally owned government devices. Uh, also in 2022, the BBC announced that the Taliban-run Afghanistan issued a ban on TikTok for leading Afghan use astray. Can we get a ban on the Taliban? <laughs> Oh my gosh. How about the Taliban get banned? That is so serious. So the Taliban actually banned TikTok, which is hilarious to me. Yeah. Like, it's bad. Aren't they like, don't they spread propaganda literally nonstop? That's all they do. (laughs) So I'm not sure where the Taliban, but the Taliban, you know. Yeah. The Taliban's like, uh, I don't know. They so they banned Twitch (laughs) or Twitch. The Taliban, they probably did ban Twitch. No, they banned, uh, they banned TikTok. (laughs) In 2022. And then Congress, this is interesting. Congress, the White House, U.S. Armed Forces, and more than half of our U.S. state government have already banned TikTok. I didn't realize that. Already. It's already gone from some people. On uh, anything that's government. That's yeah. crazy. So um, uh, that's that's wild. So there are concerns. Basically, the concern is that ByteDance would give user data such as browsing history and location yeah. to the Chinese government. Um, and they also apparently this reported that they have access to messages, text messages that TikTok is able to infiltrate your messages, Dang. your text history. That's wild, dude. So wow. is this is a lot, right? Is there a security risk with TikTok? Probably. Probably. Absolutely. <laughs> right? Yeah. But should TikTok be banned? I'm interested to know your guys' uh your guys' uh thoughts on this. What's up, Mendez? Mendez! What's your guys' thoughts? Should TikTok be banned? Or is this a issue of free speech? Because there's a lot of over half. The United States of America population is on TikTok. Did you know that? Dang. Over half of our country's population is on, has a TikTok account. That's, let that stat sink in. Man. Woo! (laughs) Dang! That's crazy! I don't know how to feel about that. That's a lot of information. That, that... It's already banned on government federal level here. But our our government and federal level people are saying this could be major because be huge. you're watching my people. Even if you're not watching me, you're watching my people. Yeah. And the ripple effect of that, like from somebody that's super yeah. important to their wife, to their family, to their extended family, to those friends, to those friends, to those friends. So I got a guy. You say you say it all the time, like. I used to live down the road from Kenny Chesney. Like, I mean, it's just like, oh, I know, I know Kenny Chesney's niece. She yep. used to come to my football games. Like, literally, that's a real story from my brother. So it's, I mean, it doesn't take much to know somebody. Yeah. So, like, digging into the text messages of that is, okay, well, I won't get the government if this was the idea, which it could be, which that's the risk, right? That's the thought for our government's going, well, they might not have the government, but they have his wife or they have that cousin or they have that friend yeah who we're not monitoring who does have freedom to have tiktok on that account or right? that phone and that guy is interacting with that dude in the government oh it's like a, a, a spider web of yeah. chaos <laughs> i don't so, even want to go down that path for me i think it's i think it's twofold uh i think the government definitely should hold the hold them responsible yeah uh, show the CEO should be held responsible for putting uh, safety measures in place. Yeah, that needs to happen. All right, we can't just if like, it's going to be available can't to these people. people's privacies. Yeah. However, I don't like the government banning stuff. Yeah, it's hard. And and, it's and, hard. and I don't talk about politics, but I can get into this because it's both Republican and Democrat, both sides of the aisle for the first time in ever have come together and they've said, we're no. banning it. 
<laughs> have you ever seen Republicans or Democrats come together for, come together for anything? <laughs> That's why I'm like, yo, this is actually going to happen. Right. They're yeah. actually going to ban this because everybody, both sides of the aisle, actually want it, which is crazy to me. And that's where I have a huge issue. The government should not be banning anything. Yeah. You should not be able to take that away from somebody, right? I, for me, it's a it's an issue of uh, freedom of speech. However, I do think the government should be able to say, look, as a protective measure for our people, for sure. yeah. As a protective measure for our people, you need to have things in place that are going to keep us safe. I see both of the sides. Yeah, so it's hard. It's I see a, both sides hard, of that. Yeah. However, I did get it's, uh, it's it's definitely very interesting. Yeah. It's definitely very interesting. So the future of TikTok and the future of any content creation, short form video, vertical, whatever, is in it, an interesting. It's place. in an interesting place. <laughs> it's exciting and it's kind of like Terrifying. unstable. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. But no, the one constant is this. And if, if if I can leave you with anything today, hear me say this. You, if you are creating content or if you're ingesting content, you are the owner of your space. Meaning only you determines what you're going to allow into your uh, into your area, into your space, into your mind. You're, you're the only person who can al- who can allow what comes out of you and out to the world. So create responsibly. Mm. Make content that is going to put you in a place to grow and to win and to okay. connect with brands, to uh, put yourself in a place to grow for the future, right? Because that is literally what, what matters. Every time you go live on the internet, this Video will not just disappear if I said something crazy. You have to be you have to be conscious and aware of what you are building, what you're saying, where you're going, how you're presenting, how you're and also too. Yeah. how you're interacting, and also what you allow to come into your space. The trolls. You're the, not allowed the comments, to. Yeah, the, the right. People. You cannot. You know. So like, you just have to own it, and you can't say that. XYZ forces you to do anything or say anything or do anything. You're an adult. You have you have free will to allow whatever you want to allow into your space. So if you want to create on kick, but you but people say kick is bad, you go make kick great. Yeah. Go make kick great. But also you can make your space on Twitch great. And you can make your space on YouTube great. And you can make your space on TikTok for as long as it's around great, right? It doesn't have to be the perception, all right? So let's let's stop with the cancel culture stuff because I hate that. I hate cancel culture. With anything. With anything. With anything. It drives me nuts. Stop with that. Take a step back. Look at it objectively. Do I fit here? Does this work for me? Mm. And if it think it might, then take the steps and start because if you don't start you're never gonna grow you're yeah. just gonna stay the same so i need to get more videos on youtube do it today go do it right now every day you don't start you're another day behind another day behind right if you see that there's an opportunity for you to grow on kick start go set up your stream do a stream on there and start inviting your close friends and community uh, if you, uh, if you want to continue building a community on Twitch, please start or keep doing it. Yeah. Right. But you own your space, you own the content that you allow to come out of you and to, and, and the content that you allow, uh, just the interaction that you allow in your home and, uh, and you need to protect that. Yeah. And so that is, uh, that is my official, like, State of the streaming address. <laughs> it was a long conversation. It was a really good, good conversation, but very helpful, I think. You know, mm-hmm. this is going to be, uh, I think we're going to look back at this and go, oh, yeah, Rash was always right. Maybe not. <laughs> it's oh, just my thoughts. I can't though. wait a year from now to go, that didn't age well. <laughs> that didn't age well. Yeah. Most of or my stuff doesn't age well, okay? You know, but it's fine. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Um, yeah, it was good. So man, it's I appreciate you It's good to touch on all those things, right? Like, yes, it is. And to definitely be good. in the know of all those things. It really, um, really, really, really. Even is. if you don't know everything, 
learn, grow, adapt, <laughs> you know. Um, and if you don't know everything, don't talk until you've done some research for yourself, <laughs> all that. Alex says, I seem to age well. Yes, oh. I do. I do seem to age well. Oh, my goodness. Uh, do we want to play a game? Do we want to play a game? Let's play a game. Let's play a game. That, getting... The podcast took a little bit longer than yeah. I thought, but it was really good information. That I, and you guys had some great questions, so I want to make sure that we we answered everything. So We're going to keep those trimmed as... Uh, this was the first go round. We're we're gonna have those a little bit more ironed out and trimmed down to I would hope twenty to twenty eight minutes. I hope we wouldn't go thirty minutes on no. those. Yeah. Um, but we want to do some form of a podcast, maybe weekly or maybe um, every other week, something like that. We would yeah. like to keep information coming out um, on things that we care about, Absolutely. whether it's content creation, our faith, or um, whatever, just leadership and growth and yeah. All the things that we stand for, live dangerously, all those things. Absolutely. So uh, kind of like the motivational pep talks, but more in a podcast form, I think. Yeah, is what for sure. For. You know, yeah, it's good. It's all good stuff. Yeah. Live dangerously. Yeah. I've had so many people go, I really like that. Yeah. It sucked having to come through all the stuff that I came through to figure it out. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, um, you know, living dangerously literally is just facing the thing you're most afraid of. You know, what are you afraid of? Face that so that you can grow and find the courage in you and find the strength in you to to rise above it, you know, and eventually you'll see yourself looking back at it and going, man, that thing I was terrified to face. I, we're so much further ahead. Yeah. Now, you know what I mean? So it's good stuff. All right. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Well, we know the answer for me. In the past, RTS has not been smarter than a fifth grader. Has not um, been It has great. not bode well. It yeah. does not bode well for you. <laughs> I've not been the best at these games, but we're going to try it. What is happening to my You know body? what I mean? Hey. Yo, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I don't know what happened, but I like it. Hey. Napolis subscribed to Napolis! the channel. What's Woo! up? How we doing, buddy? It's good to see you. Nice. We got a new subscriber to the channel, baby. We Fluffy! Fluffy's in the house. Fluffy! Let's go. We're about to start a game. We'll see how well this goes. Okay. I Nightbot. Uh can you set it up? I'm gonna go over here and yeah, see we if gotta, I can we destroy get, Nightbot. Uh, we gotta we gotta kill Nightbot. He's killing us. So, we've played this game before. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Well, RTS has played this game before. I'm always the question asker. And uh, last time, I think he only got two. Uh, we did this test where we went through the grade steps, right? So, um, kindergarten, first grade, second grade, he passed all these flying colors. Third grade, he passed. Fourth grade, I think he might have missed like one question, two questions. Fifth grade, out of the 10 questions, he only got two, right? Ouch. I only got two questions right? I'm pretty sure that was the Holy step. cow, dude. Which means he's... <laughs> no! Which means he's not smarter than a fifth grader, which also means he's not... Hey. That, which also means his youngest is smarter than him. Ouch. That that really <laughs> that really hurts, dude. That that hurts too. So how did you pass fifth grade the first time? I don't think it went well. Your teacher just had mercy on you. Okay, so when I first got into fifth grade, it was the first year of my public school. Uh -huh. I went to I started out at a Christian private school. For kindergarten, kindergarten. I don't want to hear it, okay? Sin, it was a bad time. All right. All right. Kindergarten, right. kindergarten, first grade, <laughs> second grade, third and fourth grade. My parents homeschooled me because okay. we moved to a new town and my mom's like, we're going to homeschool. And that was a terrible idea because she was <laughs> terrible. She didn't teach me be, nothing. I would be a horrible. Home my school. mom didn't teach me nothing, no. dude. It was the worst. She was not a good and she would tell you that anyways. Uh, there was an entire, like, two months I didn't do homework. Oh, boy. <laughs> I thought, well, I don't have to do anything until it started, like, oh, you got to turn in your stuff and then to the homeschool agency. Yeah. And they're like, well, he doesn't have any work. 
That was bad. Oops. I spent an entire two weekends making up like two months of schoolwork. Grounded to my room, waking up <laughs> before the sunrise and score, score, score all the way to I, they brought me food. I could not leave. It was the worst. Did experience. your sisters do better? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, so then in fifth grade. First year of public school. Was the first year of public school in a small school where everybody grew up together. So and you're I was the outsider. A weird kid, dude. Yeah. I was like a skater kid. I had, you know, I liked skateboarding and I had long hair that was parted in the middle. Of course you did. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I also wanted to be like a baseball player and I just, it was just rough. It was a rough, I got made fun of a lot. And I didn't really know what to do. So I was just kind of like, I would just like run off and hide mm. at lunchtime. And I'd just go out to a field and like sit under a tree and eat my lunch. And, I do that now. And just hide. You know what I mean? So yeah, it wasn't a good time. So thanks for bringing that up. He was a skater boy. He was a skater he boy. He said, see you later, boy. So um, yeah. So And look at you now. So fifth grade was a rough time. I don't know how I passed it. Well, we're about to relive the eighth grade, minus the bullies and the bathroom sitting down eating your lunch time. I did. <laughs> I did meet Mr. McD. Mr. McDaniel was the most incredible, and he he's he passed away oh. due to cancer. Breaks my heart still because he was the one person. He was the only person that believed in me. Aww. When I got to, when I moved to St. Joe and he came out to my mom's car, he saw me struggling. He was a science teacher. He saw me struggling and he came out to my mom's car when she picked me up. Guys, school would get over at three. I would wait till six to be picked up Why? most nights. Why? They would just forget about me. Oh, cool. Still thought you were homeschooled. They just forget. Where's Jonathan? Oh, did you pick him up from school? No. Right. So never, never. <laughs> all right. Like that all the time. So uh, I just be sitting out there. And then I started finding out that you could call 1-800-COLLECT. And no, no. I didn't have money for it, but I you could leave your name. And so I call 1-800-COLLECT. I call my mom's number and I go, Mom, school can pick you up. Because you had like five oh seconds to say the gosh. name. And then I'd hang up. <laughs> And then she would go, you have a call from 1-800-COLLECT. Would you like to take it? And if she says yes, then it would be, Mom, you forgot me at school. Come pick me up. <laughs> and that's why she left you there. Yeah. That's the real reason. It's like. No, I had to do that because she started, kept forgetting about me. So, oh so da Mr. McD came out and said, your son needs to be in athletics. If he comes out for cross country and track. I will take him under my wing. And that was the start. So he was a coach. Yeah. That's awesome. That was the start of my running thing. Nice. And you run today, even still. Well, not anymore. My knees hurt. He's old, but. I got old knees, guys. You got those old bulbous kneecaps. All right, anyways. <laughs> Done going down memory lane. I feel. Rabbit trail. I feel funny. Not too much of a rabbit trail. I feel funny for saying all that. Why? I don't know. I feel vulnerable. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, go ahead. Continue on. Game time. Game time. It's Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? So far, no. he has not won mm -hmm. any of these games. I found a new website for us to uh, ask some questions and see, uh, see, see, how, see how it turns out. There's a few questions in here. I don't, right. know, I don't know how many there are. Hold on. Poor Rash says sweets. It doesn't even tell me how many there are. We're just going to keep going. All right. And we're going to know right away if you get these right or wrong. I'm going to be able to hit the button um, and let you know if you got them right or wrong. All right. Question number one for are you smarter than a fifth grader? Let's uh, see if Rash is. If a car. We, wait, wait, wait. We're not starting with like kindergarten. <laughs> No, no. Great, no, 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 we're no, going no. straight the to first, kindergarten. Listen, listen. Are these math problems? Uh, there is a variety. Here, I'll just read oh, it. Oh, no. This is going to be hard. All right. 
Oh, 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 it will. It will. It actually will. Okay. Good. That's that's fine. You do your thing. Let me see. Aha. Yes. Yes. All right. So the game's mechanics work like so. In the first round of gameplay, you'll be starting out with first grade level questions. From there, you'll move through second, third, and fourth grade, and eventually fifth grade. Okay. Um, and that the fifth grade good. questions will discover if you can really be a fifth grader in their normal trivia quiz stuff. All right. Okay. <laughs> oh All boy. Right. This let's, is going to be hard. Let's give it a shot. All right. We're, give, we're doing shots, you All guys. Right. We're not doing shots. Oh, we're not doing shots, you guys. Here, okay. here we are. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Rash the smash. Let's Titan see. Bravo it did. <gasps> that stuff built character. Oh <laughs> yes, it did. Some kind of character. I don't know what it was. Still trying to figure it out. But, um, okay. Question number one. If a car is traveling at 40 miles per hour. Oh, okay. How long will it take to go 190 miles? 90 miles. He's just on his notes. I'm watching. Yeah, I don't have a calculator. I just... Okay, so 100... Uh, can I have multiple choice? Yes, you can. Okay. Four hours, 45 minutes. All right. Three hours, 30 minutes. Four hours, 15 minutes. Or three hours and 15 minutes. Wow, those are oddly specific. I hate that. Um... Okay. Uh, you look uncomfortable. Are you okay? What What was the... Okay. Um, what were the options again? Four hours and 15 minutes. Three hours and 30 minutes. Four hours and 15 minutes. Or three hours and 15 minutes. Four hours and 15 minutes. Four hours and 15 minutes is his final answer. It is incorrect. Frick! <laughs> it is four hours and 45 minutes. Gosh dang it! I didn't carry a one somewhere. <laughs> that was fourth grade math. Oh my gosh, okay. I don't have, I legit don't have this. Okay. True or false? The following picture is of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. False. It's actually a Stegosaurus. No, yes. Yes. It's a Stegosaurus Rex. Correct! It's not a Rex, okay. but yeah, it is a Stegosaurus. Oh, it's, oh, <laughs> oh, wait, there's no Rex at the end of Stegosaurus? I don't think so. I've been thinking, I've been calling Stegosaurus Rexes forever. <laughs> All right. That was first grade animal science. Okay. <laughs> All right. How many nouns? Oh, Mrs. Ooh. RTS is going to Oh, no. <laughs> Mrs. RTS not is going to Not speaking. <laughs> not English. I don't speak. Okay, here we go. Mrs. RTS is going to love this oh, one. Oh, she's How many something. nouns? This is the question. This comes from first grade English. First grade, guys. First grade English. How many nouns are in the following sentence? The rabbit ran into the cafeteria and ate a big salad. <sighs> Three. Three. Correct! Oh my gosh, yes! <laughs> oh, it's, I was like, is it the one that says you're doing something or the one that says you are something? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I gotta remember. That's so great. Mm. All right, this comes from third grade measurements. Ooh, okay. They're great measurements. What unit of measurement is abbreviated OZ? Ounces. Correct! Hey, listen, I know my ounces and you, whatnot. You're good. Uh, first, second, and third grade, you're doing pretty good. The, the fourth grade is where it got a little bit iffy, which is where it got iffy last time. And then fifth grade was just not, not a good place. Not a very good place. I can't wait. Our second question comes from second grade health class. Second grade. 
Usually, usually, I think he does pretty good at the science. It's the math and the English. It's yeah. Those are not the so great. Those are not so great. Yeah. Okay. Second grade health. Here's your question: True or false? Is it true or false? The human shoulder is a ball and socket joint. Oh, thousand percent true. Correct. Yeah. Yay. You got a little ball there. It's got a socket. Yeah, it goes in the socket. And it and turns. It, it twists. Twist. Varsity pitcher. Yeah. All right. Um. <laughs> Our next question comes from third grade life science. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you sure. sure? Yeah, I just, there's something shiny over there. It's your three, it's your Samsung monitor. Yeah. Ayo. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Saving that. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Ooh. This is comes from this question comes from third grade life science. Mm -hmm. Which one of these is a mammal? Oh, mammals. Yeah, a seahorse, oh. a sea lion, or a sea urchin. Well, I think a lion because a lion is a mammal, right? A lion is a mammal. Yeah. So the sea lion. Great! Yes. Yay! All right, this is about to get hard. Oh, um, great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. Ooh, oh, no. Squirrel. This next question comes from second grade world geography. Oh. He also does not do well with geography. Well, now, hold up. Okay, all right, fine. To be fair, I think I just forget where I'm at sometimes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, moving on. <laughs> I think you've got this one, though. Okay. I hope you have this one. I hope I have it, too. Which continent is least populated? Oh. Asia or Antarctica? Or Australia? Oh, there's more. Or Europe? Oh, gosh. Antarctica, right? Because there's nothing but snow bunnies that live there. Correct! Yeah. That was pretty easy. Yeah, that's 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 world geography. I could have I could have That's for second graders though, dude. Oh wow, I don't feel so <laughs> proud. <laughs> I don't feel so proud anymore. Oh no. Okay, here we go. This next question comes from fourth grade social studies. All right. I don't know. You liked social studies back in the day, right? Oh, I like social yeah, studies. Yeah, yeah, I figured. Since the late 1930s, yep. what calendar date has been... I had to read that word 15 times because my brain had an aneurysm. <laughs> oh my um, gosh. Since the late 1930s, what calendar date has been designated for the inauguration of the United States president? January 1st, January 15th, January 20th, or January 23rd? Your birthday's not on there. Rick. Which date since the January 30th. 20th? Final answer. Is it right? That's correct! Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, it'll be my final answer if it's correct. I gotta say, I thought it was the 15th for some reason. I thought it was the 23rd, but I said the 20th because I knew that I'm always wrong. So if I tried to be... That answer was also C, so... Oh, okay. That's C. good, right? We always Ouch. bank on C if that's... That's true. C is kind of the go-to, you know what I mean? Did you do that a lot in school? I did. I just went C, straight for C. Straight and a lot, line. I usually a got C. straight C's. line on his, uh, what did you, Scantron? Yeah. <laughs> the, Scantron. The Scantron. Scantron. <laughs> Are those still around? I don't think they do Scantrons anymore. Everything's on Everybody iPads. gets a laptop. <laughs> Everybody gets a laptop or an iPad. You know what I mean? Scantrons. I remember shoving those in the little thing. Dude, I love that. That's always fun, shoving it in there and just letting it like do the thing. Yeah. Um, my kids just said that at school they're taking their laptops away and they're getting iPads with Bluetooth with... keyboards. That's pretty cool. That's a lot of money. What is happening to all the laptops? I don't know. Can we get some? I would love some. That'd be pretty cool. Right? 
Mm -mm -mm. We're gonna be uh Christmas tree the scantron sheet. Yes, dude. dude. Yes. Absolutely. One of the things that we're also gonna be covering uh on the YouTube channel with some of our short content is gonna be like budget friendly streamer gear? pieces and yeah. gear. So um be looking out for our lighting kit that we just did a video on. Dude, and so it fun. We'll be releasing this weekend. Um we've also got some other things lined up from I Facebook Marketplace. Need some makeup. Oh, sorry. I got Maybe lost. we can get on Social Cat and they could send you some free makeup. Yes, I got lost in that whole thing right there. Because your wife's not going to let you borrow any of her makeup. No, she won't. It's too expensive. Yeah. Maybe we could get some for your wife. Maybe. Here we go. Let's do it. Next question. Next question. Our next question comes from <laughs> fifth grade. Okay. It's our first fifth grade question. Are you sure you're ready for it? No, but yes. Our next question is fifth grade astronomy. All right, fifth grade astronomy. Let's go. In the initials of the federal agency known as NASA. Oh. What does the first A stand for? Uh Oh, man. I just had a brain fart. American Aeronautics Association Administration. What? Oh, aeronautics. Correct! I thought you gave it. I was like, wait, that doesn't spell NASA. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that doesn't spell NASA. American uh, uh, Aeronautics uh, 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 Association. I was like, uh, uh, that's too many A's. <laughs> we All are right. officially locked into the fifth grade questioning oh my gosh this is another fifth grade so does question. that mean i passed fourth grade officially you did with flying colors sir all right here Barely. we go Barely. Whoa. um Dude. there was only like two fourth grade Rude. questions okay like, all right here we go ready for it all right this comes this next question imagine that I, 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 american I, aeronautics <laughs> association <of> yeah <laughs> oh my gosh if that was a real place. Okay, our next question comes from fifth grade history, and it is, what revolutionary leader wrote the influential common sense in 1776? John Locke, Abraham Lincoln, Thomas Paine, or John Adams? Can you say it again one more time? I think my brain glazed <laughs> over. And I was thinking about donuts for a minute. Hold on, okay, say it again. Donuts. Donuts. Um, fifth grade history, uh -huh. this is your question. Okay. What revolutionary leader wrote the influential common sense in 1776? Okay. Was it John Locke, Abraham Lincoln, mm -hmm. Thomas Paine, or John Adams? John Adams. Thousand percent. That's incorrect. Oh, crap. <laughs> that's, that's wrong. <laughs> Dang! Do you not know who Thomas Paine is? Common Sense, the little pamphlet that they printed and gave out to everybody? I don't remember that. I mean, I know you don't remember it, you weren't alive, but like... I thought Thomas Paine made the window pane. <laughs> I guess not! Welp. <laughs> There goes fifth grade. <laughs> you now have 50 50 on fifth grade already. You've only gotten two questions and you got one right and one wrong. Oh my gosh. Okay, here we go. I, I'm <laughs> ready for the next one. Oh, MG. Chat, chat, savage. <laughs> no. Let's you don't know who Thomas Paine is? He didn't make the window pane. No, he wrote common sense. Oh. Do you know the little pamphlet common no, sense? No, what's in that? I don't have it. Common sense. I don't have common sense. All right. Oh, oh my no. gosh, dude. Oh no. I'm so sorry, guys. I suck. <laughs> guys, I suck. All right, you got it's 50-50 right now. You're making 50%. You've got one out of two questions correct for there you fifth go. grade. Here's our next fifth grade question. Okay. From fifth grade astronomy, your question is, what 
was the name of the first satellite pulled into orbit by the United States. The Explorer, Titan, Apollo, or Mercury? Oh, Apollo. That is incorrect. What? <laughs> what about Apollo 13? It was the Explorer. It was the first. Apollo 13 <laughs> could have probably been the 13th. Well, I just thought that that was the shuttle or no, that was the, the satellite space rocket. That was the mission that they didn't make it to the moon. But I thought... Listen, I thought that since that was like in the 70s or whatever, that it would be like one of the first. The Explorer went out to explore for the first time. Dang, bro. So one out of three so far. Okay. On fifth grade questions. Help me. Help me, Jesus. <laughs> I need help. <laughs> Okay, let's take it down a notch then. All right, taking it down. <laughs> this is this guys. This is uh, you get two bonus questions. <laughs> okay. He only got one out of three on the fifth grade. Correct. True. Your bonus question comes from fourth grade though, so maybe he can recover. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded so sad. Fourth grade history. This bonus question is what ancient civilization built the Machu Picchu oh. in Peru. The Peruvians. I can give you the, let me, uh, let me give you the multiple choice. Oh, okay. <laughs> that seems logical to me. <laughs> let me, let me <laughs> What ancient civilization built the Machu Picchu complex in Peru? Mayas, Incas, Aztecs, or Zappos? Say it again. <laughs> Mayas, Incas, Aztecs, or Zappos? Definitely the Mayas. Mayans? Mayas? Maya he! Maya who? It's definitely Maya. the Incas. Oh, freaking. <laughs> Oh no! I I messed up. I thought Zapados was that shoe company. It is Zapados is the shoe company. Zapos is something. I don't know. It's a question oh. in here. Oh. It was the Incas. The Mayas were the calendar, the the sundial. Maya he it's not them. Dang, dude. Does that mean I failed fifth grade? Well, that was fourth grade history. Oh, crap. <laughs> that was your bonus question for you to recover from the one out of three that you got in fifth grade. <laughs> so it's not looking bright, sir. Give me another bonus question and this, make it worth a million points so this, I can pass fifth grade. This is what your teachers did back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> like Zappos is a shoe company. That's right. <laughs> it is. It is a shoe <laughs> company, yeah. Um... <laughs> What they say? Yes, Peruvians, the ancient civilization of Peru. <laughs> Alex, oh my gosh! I love having Alex. What here. the heck, Alex? Oh no. Okay. All right. All right. Hit me with the last guy, Theo Sensei. Hi, by the way. Uh, hit, oh, hey, Theo. Hit me with oh, man. the the million dollar point question that I'm going to absolutely knock out of the park. Okay. This is it. This is bonus question number two. It comes from fifth grade science, and it is what species can live on both water <laughs> and land? He's already laughing. <laughs> Arthropods, birds, amphibians, or fish? <sighs> <laughs> Do you know what an arthropod is? Uh, 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 I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> you don't know. I gave you multiple choice. What species can live on both water and land? It's great science. Arthropods? Arthropods, birds, amphibians, or fish. Eliminate. 
Come on. Eliminate some... Amphibians. That is correct. Thank Praise God. God. One million points. I almost said arthropods. Okay. Do you guys want to know the full overall? Dang, The dude. real... This is the real quiz. I wasn't in the armed services. No. This I just... We do a lot of armed service support. We do. Yeah. All right. The verdict is in. Your, your test score oh was 9 out of 13. Which means you scored a 70% and you passed the fifth grade. Yes! By the hair on your chinny chin chin. Oh, thank you all so much. <laughs> I just want my C minus. Yes. My C minus is going to make my parents so proud. No, it's a C minus here. It's not a D minus. <laughs> it's a C minus. At Texas A&M, it's a D. Or it's a, it's a B, practically. At Texas A&M, but that's a B? At UT Tyler, C's it's C's get it's degrees. Definitely. C's enough. get degrees. Burly. C's get degrees. Burly. Burly. Burly get degrees. Oh, my Dude, gosh. Dude, let's go. You did it. You are smarter than a fifth grader. I love that. Thank you guys so much for believing in me. I believed in me first more than anybody else. Oh, uh, that's an accurate statement. Believed in me. That's a very accurate statement. And uh, I just want to say that with this <laughs> fifth grade degree, I'm going to go on to change the world. All right. <laughs> All right. All right. She's not. She's As not. he streams from his basement. Wow. With that being said. With his $50 lighting that he got on Facebook Marketplace. Heck yeah. He was just, he was just down in Facebook, Mar Facebook and... We've gotten some stuff from Facebook. We got some stuff from Facebook, dude. We might have some more stuff from Facebook. I know. I hope. Um, I think we need to uh, table Neanderthal because we're Ooh. running out of That's true. time. It depends on how long you want to go. And we do have some other, uh, we do have another game over the computer. Oh, yeah. We do have another game. And that could, that could take a little bit of time. That's true. You know what I mean? That's true. That would be fun. I think I think we save Neanderthals for next week when when Hands can probably join us. Yeah, and then she can hit me in the face because you know that any game that has to do with words, I just there's no way I'm gonna do well. I mean, he didn't know, you know what, what I mean. He didn't know what arthropods were, and he didn't know. I didn't know the Thomas Paine. Rebel just said Thomas I'm Paine. never gonna live down that Thomas Paine comment. He didn't invent the window bane. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna see that on YouTube later. <laughs> oh, so Theo, you can't confuse me like that, dude. They were not species, though. By the way, those are our class. Oh, what? Oh, the the test said it was a species. The test is wrong. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That Only is a class. Theo is right. Oh my gosh. Dude. I didn't even think about that when it came out of my mouth. Oh my <laughs> gosh, you're right. That's funny. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, he is right. Theo is right, always. Are we is this, this soft for real? I don't know. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna All transition. Right, we're gonna over transition. To we game. are going to break for just a few minutes. <laughs> You're a genie. He is a genius. Oh my gosh. And, uh, we will be right back. I appreciate you guys. Whoa! Love you. Hang with us. We got more games coming.
Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We back. Yo. We're here. We're like in a new space now all of a yeah. sudden, but I messed up my microphone. <laughs> I just accidentally like killed the gain on it. Give me one second. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Yo. Okay. So we've got another game uh, that we're going to be playing here. Um, what? Oh, yeah. That's true. All of these new little scenes. Why didn't that click off? Don't know. Interesting. We're learning things. We're learning things. There we go. All right. Cool. So we've got a game, you guys. Uh, pretty excited about this game. This is going to be a cool game. Uh, this is a game called um, Illusion, Illusion Confusion. Confusion. All right, Illusion Confusion, and uh, it's uh, it's very 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 simple game. We are going to show you videos of uh, of some objects, and you have to determine which object is fake and which object is real. Which object is fake and which object is real? Absolutely. Okay. So, are you ready for this? I'm ready. I'm ready. It's gonna be good. All right. I'm so ready. Are you a little confused already because you lost the game? Oh, you barely won. I mean, I guess you won. I didn't I lose. I think that the Stegosaurus is what helped you the most. But I think if you would have written Stegosaurus Rex on your paper, I don't know if that would have. <laughs> Whatever. I don't know Let's if that would have passed, okay? I, I don't know. But uh, I definitely know that Stegosaurus Rexes are my favorite dinosaurs. Actually, Triceratops Rexes are. Isn't everything a dinosaur? Isn't aren't all dinosaurs Rexes? I'll let you ask your fifth grader that when he gets home from school. I have one. What do you have? A fourth grader? I have a sixth grader. A oh. third grader, a sixth grader, an eighth grader. A third grader? I'm pretty sure your third grader could have made a hundred on that test. <laughs> Oh man, I think your third grader can answer that question oh, for you. Oh my gosh, honestly. what the heck. All, All right. right, you ready for this? Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. let's do this. So for the first video, the here first we go. Video. First video, here we go. Spot the fake, you guys. You have to spot the fake. Let's see if you guys can get this. Here are five items. So this is a guy who draws um, things. Yep. And he puts <laughs> them next to real things and then he makes a video of those things and says which one's real which one's fake which one's real which one's fake what do you guys think i'm gonna go with the middle the big one yeah these are so some of these are real most of them i think are real i think he only draws one per thing rebel says fourth fourth one over oh my goodness dude second from the left and fourth one over. Okay, so... Second from the left. What do you think, KJ? We need your answer. I I feel like... Man. I don't think it's the first one. Look at that shadow. Yeah. I think it's the fourth one as well. Hmm. All right. Let's see. What is it going to be? <gasps> It was the second one. It was the second one. You got it. Oh my gosh. No, wait. Dude, second one. that's so crazy. I like how he smashes that though. That's really cool. All right, cool. You so, would like that. So that's how the, so that's how the, that's game, how the works, game works, right? That's how the game works, all right? So next, all right, let's see. Doritos. I love Ooh. Doritos. What is real? What is drawn? Hmm. How does the shadow look the exact same? That looks like the same chip. It does look like the same chip. It's not. Oh. Uh. These almost don't look different. What I win. You what win I my win. admiration. <laughs> of course, your favorite part is the smashing. Bag is fake. The bag? Oh, oh, what if it's a bag is? I don't know. 
what if the bag is fake? It could be a trick. Yeah. Um, the shadow looks really big on the one on the left. I'm going to say one? it's the left one. I think it's the right. Mm. Uh, I don't know, dude. The light is casting. I mean, if the bag was fake, that would be really hard to draw that. That's the, a lot. I don't know, dude. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. Let's see. No, it was the left. It was the, wait, no, it was the right. Oh. I said the right was fake. Yes, the right is fake. I said the left was fake, didn't I? Yes, you did. Oh my gosh. I really thought it was. Look at that. Dude, he did a great job drawing that with the spices and everything. I, that, the freaking shadow looked so weird on the other one. Yeah, it did. What? <laughs> Dang, dude. Okay. Oh. Wow, that's incredible. This dude is really good at drawing stuff. All right, which is real. Oh, Banana. which is fake. Oh, I think it's the right. You think the right one's I fake? I think the right is fake. I do too. It does. It does. Uh, it, it looks, looks it lo smudgy. Uh, look at the it's it's the base down there where the seeds are. Yeah, it look looks at that. It looks smudgy. Yeah, right down there is what I'm thinking. It's yeah. smudgy. I think so. Smudgy, smudgy. All right, left one. Left, left one. You yeah, the, the shadow one? is weird on the left one. Hmm. You look smudgy. I am smudgy. But maybe it's maybe it's the right. I think it's the I think the right one's fake. All right, let's check it out. Here we go. Oh! The right one was fake. <laughs> I thought he was going for it. Whoa, we, oh, we had it on a piece of paper. That's a piece of paper, dude. Okay, so he Look like lifted stem. it up a little bit. The stem is perfect. Oh, he cut it perfectly. How did he draw the stem? Oh, wow. So that's a real shadow. I said the shadow looked weird. And that was a real shadow. That's crazy, dude. Okay. Wow. This, this game is a little bit harder than I thought, dude. All right, here we go. Spot. Oh, gosh. Uh, This is really difficult. How many are fake? Just one. I think it's that top green one. That top green one? He looks a little funny. A little sus. That one looks interesting. The brown one there? Yeah. Yeah, it's a 2D item. Two D yeah, item 2D, making it, yeah. yeah, it was very bold, right? Like, that's interesting. Uh, I don't this know. This is really difficult to see. I don't have any idea. I can't idea. tell. What do you guys think? The red one next to the orange in dead center. Oh, he does look a little weird. Red one next to the orange. Yeah, that right one? There, yeah. Oh, he that's does. true. It could be. All right. Let's check it out. Let's see. Yeah, I think it's a green one. Up top. Green. Come on. <gasps> the yellow? Oh. What? <laughs> Look at that shadow. How does he, he just watches the same shadow? Oh, it is a little darker shadow. Oh, it is. Yeah, it is oh, darker. I see it. I see Dude. It. Oh, man. Okay, that's blowing my mind, man. I don't know. <laughs> Who it's has blowing this much my mind. time? I, I would not be able to, to do this. Right? Uh, what one did we just say? Oh, we just watched that one. That's right. Okay, here we go. Genius, Genius level. One is fake. Well, the bows are definitely different. I just don't know which one's right and which one's wrong. I think the left is the fake one. I do too, because of the dark around the bow. That's what I think. I think the left is the fake one. Yeah. I'm banking on left. Yeah. It's gotta be, it's gotta be left. And also like, look, look at, at the, the nose too. Yeah, the nose. The nose looks a little flat on it, I think. Yeah. It's like a- Is that like a, supposed to be a cookie? I don't know. Maybe. I don't either. Left. All right, we're saying left. All right, here we go. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's a purse. Ooh. Oh, my daughter would love that. I would like it. You would? Don't Lord. judge. You don't get to judge. Lord. Maybe Hello Kitty will sponsor you. You don't get to judge. Look yeah. at that. That's cool. Wear that purse in your lifestyle. Heck yeah. All right. Good huh. job. 
Ooh, oh, the, the right, the oh, right is fake. That's going to be the right one, right? Look at the. He's a great them. drawer, but he did not do a good job of making that look convincing. Yeah, the cinnamon part is not. Yeah, really it didn't. Convincing. It doesn't look super convincing. Look at the edgy. Well, I don't know. The edging on that one looks the exact same as the edging. On that one. The yeah. shadow's different. Hmm. Yeah, it's going to be the right, I think. It's got to be the right. Yeah. yeah, easy, easy. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Easy. We already knew, didn't we? We, we knew. knew. Look at him drawing that. Though. I know that's kind of crazy. That's pretty impressive. The shadow is just different. Hmm. I don't know. He's really good. I'll give him he, that much. He's, he's very good, but yeah. Phenomenal job. <laughs> The Sanrio is super controlling with their IP, FYI. They have very demanding standards. All right. Let's go. Which one is a draw? Oh, no. Oh, when there's a bunch of them, I never do good. You got to really study. I'm assuming it's not any of the ones up here. At the edge. Right. To kind of throw you. I think this one looks funny. He does look a little funny. Look at his shadow be a little funny. It's uh and or, he put them side by side. I wonder if that's part of the illusion. But look at his shadow. Their shadow kind of goes a different direction. Oh, they're the people who own Hello Kitty. Ah. Uh, you think the one in the middle? There's a bunch in the middle. <laughs> Which one Alex. in the middle? <laughs> Like the yellow one in the middle? Yeah. One of these has got to be the bag. Yeah, right. Right? I don't know. That one, that one, I think that's a girl bag. Um, I, I actually think it's the darker one of the mouse where you just put your mouse. I like this one, one here? You think it's going to be that guy? <gasps> Wait, I think it's that orange one. I think it's that orange one right there. Look at him. Okay, so the He's orange one. He's a little one, different color than the other orange ones. The orange one closest to the bag. Yeah. That's my bet. All right. And his shadow's a little bit darker, I feel like. All right, let's... I got my new contacts in, and I'm seeing like a freaking eagle. You're seeing sounds. All right, let's see. What is it going to be? It's that one. It's got to be. It's got to be that one. You didn't even guess. I did. I guessed did this yellow. Oh, that's right. You did. Guess. Ah! It's the orange. You got it. Holy cow. Dude, look at him yeah, drawing that. Yeah, it was like a little, it was a little darker, but man, the... Dude, the he really like makes 3D. it come to shape. Like that's crazy. Yeah, like the bevel. Almost. Yeah, I'm impressed. That is very impressive. All right, one more. We got one more here. You ready for this? I'm ready. Which one is real? Mm. The left. You think the real is left? The uh, I think the fake one is the left. You I think, think the, the real one is the, the right. I think the fake one is on. The left as well. The shadow on the left one is less detailed mm -hmm. than the one on the right. Yeah. I, I feel like, yeah, I feel like the left one is fake. I think so. Here, let's check it the out. Right is real. Alex called it. Ooh, that's a. Oh! <laughs> that one was fake. Oh, it's paper too! Let's go. Dang. Oh my word. And then he cuts it out. That is the same color. Oh, well, I guess he's got paper on all of it. Oh Dude, I like how he's cutting that though. I want that donut. It's got, it's got cream filled. Cream it filled. is cream filled. Crim, crim, fi uh, crim, crim. crim filled. Crim filled. <laughs> it's cream filled. Dude, I like that. That's, That's a lot awesome. of fun. That's fun. Pretty good. Good game there, KJ. Good game, good game, good game. Good game, good game, good game. 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 All right. Good game. Well, um, honestly, I wanted to kind of end a little early so that I could kind of go through some stuff and review and, yeah. and those types of things before I have to head out to work tonight. But and if you guys have feedback, drop yeah. it in the Discord. Because Absolutely. we want to make it better every time. Yes. And it will get better every time. We had to, you know... We had the to get machine oiled up and yeah, we had to at least start, and, yeah. you know what I mean? But uh, like That's audio exactly is going to be, on, audio is going to be a thing just and then just start. Yeah. Just start. That right? was the thing you were preaching on earlier. Just so we didn't want to go too crazy today. We want to just kind of say like, okay, can we do two different spots? 
Um, yes, like the stream. It's YouTube, so like the stream. Like the stream. Like that's like what uh that's like what what's his head does, right? Nick. Nick. Like the video. If you like the video, like the video. <laughs> what a meathead. <laughs> I like, head, I like it. I like it, dude. Oh, it's awesome. So, anyways, man, thank you guys for hanging with us today. Hopefully, you have an amazing Friday. Yeah, happy weekend. Happy weekend. When are your next streams? So you've got like stuff lined out. Is that your schedule for sure? You're yeah, that's my schedule. Monday. Schedule. Monday. Monday, ten o'clock on Twitch. Twitch. Monday evening, like five o'clock p.m. Kick. All right. Nice. Yeah, absolutely. I love it. And then. Um, you know, and then Wednesday is obviously going to be, um, a dual stream as well on Twitch and kick same times. Fridays will always be this time, uh, 11 o'clock AM central time for YouTube. Now what's, what's cool is that on Tuesdays and Thursday evenings, bonus, pop, bonus, bo bonus pop-ups pop -ups on kick. Yeah. So it's cool. Right. So we're, 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 we're meeting people where they're at. Yeah. Which is important, and uh, and and I'm I excited think, about. It, so. I think that speaks a lot to somebody's brand. Is if you're willing to meet people where they're at already mm -hmm. at, um, and invest in them where they are. If, yeah. If they're kick lovers, let them love kick. We'll yeah. be there. If they love Twitch, let them love Twitch, and we'll be there. I think so. Same thing with YouTube. Yeah, dude. Um, I think it's great. It is great. Yeah. So I'm excited about Thank it. Thank you guys who did show up, who came, who stayed. Yes. Um, who commented, who liked, who subscribed. Yeah, who hung with us and it was, engaged in it the, was some awesome. of the talks. It was great. It was a good time, man. It was a good time. So. It was good. I love you guys. We will see you very soon. Bye-bye. Bye. See you.